Let me just two minutes. Do, do I get the things in the it, chat? Stop the clock when other people chime in. Do, no. I, do I get two minutes alone? No, which All right. means that All right. you have to stop other people from chiming in. I'm really bad at that. <laughs> all right. Time to practice. I love being quippy. You've heard the DM. Okay. There we go. Nice I've sent all the things. <laughs> Are we lying? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said it's two o'clock on the dot. Let's go. And then I pressed start. <laughs> and then said, give me two seconds to send these messages. Hi. <laughs> We're good. Hi. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this extremely well prepared stream where we have great signals beforehand. <laughs> When I do a countdown, it doesn't work. When I say we're starting, it doesn't We've never work. Done a we did one once and it did nothing. <laughs> you got up and left. <laughs> the only things that work are me making a little sound effect when I say start. I and I go pew or effect. bang. Do pew. <laughs> that works. Anyway. Hi. hi. <laughs> Welcome hey, to Come Glasgow 2024 Twitch stream. We are <laughs> Let's Roll Hell and High Water, um, uh, which is a D&D 5e campaign that we're going to be playing today. This is session six. Uh, we are working on getting all the session, uh, previous sessions up on YouTube, so if you want to catch up on those sessions, the we are... The first one's up. The first one is up on YouTube. Holy um, I And know. we're working on getting the rest of them up uh, in, as soon as we can. <laughs> Very large files, we don't really have the laptops for that kind of thing, but we are getting there. Uh, thank you for joining us on this stream. We represent Glasgow 2024, which is the world con that's coming to Glasgow in 2024 from August 8th to 12th next year. Uh, it's being hosted at the SEC in Glasgow uh, and you can head over to our website and check it out and check out all our wondrous things. Um, I believe we've got a couple of links in the chat now that can take you to our membership page. So if you want to join us and come to Glasgow in 2024, you can and pay for memberships. And we would be beyond excited. <laughs> and you need to do it before the end of next week because that's when there's going to be a price raise. We have a rate, a rate raise then, yes. So if you want to save yourself approximately 20%. I thought you said 10. Is it 10 or 20? 10, you said 10% in the post. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write that post. Okay, somebody said 10%. 10%, <laughs> I think. If you want to save yourself approximately 10% on your membership price, which is your all access thing to get into Worldcon, buy it before the end of September. If not, price is going to jump and then you have to pay a bit more to get in. Mm -hmm. In addition, we do have an installment plan so you don't have to pay for it all in one go. You just have to buy a chunk of it, a small chunk that's about £45 and then you mm -hmm. can pay the rest off in smaller installments uh, throughout the year. All you have to do is pay for it before you come to Worldcon. <laughs> Uh, there's more details about that on all of our social media and on our website as well. So please do go have a look and we would be ecstatic to have you with us next year in Glasgow in 2024. <laughs> um, and I think with that we will jump into uh, the D&D session, but I think based on some feedback we've had, we'll start with a couple of introductions at the beginning of each session yes. this time. Our I, names, our character names, I keep who on, we are, what's happening. I keep on asking, yeah. but they haven't told me yet. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm Alex, who are you? I'm your DM, I'm running this session. This is my homebrew campaign that is heavily influenced by a lot of the Wizards of the Coast uh, material, but it is my world. Uh, um, so uh, yes, I am DMing, and would you like to go first please? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you try and drink? <laughs> I'm Ayla, I'm playing Kai. They are a half elf bard warlock. Hi, uh, I'm Will. <laughs> Only people that are having drinks I'm need to speak. Really <laughs> it's a great choice. Um, I'm playing uh, Adeline. He is a uh, an Azamar uh, ranger using a you know, homebrewed uh, version of the ranger class. That's very cool. It's from Laser Llamas? Uh, yes. yes. Uh, a developer called Laser Llama. And you can find all that online, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Freely available homebrew. Hi, I'm Rizzy. Uh, I'm playing Polly, who is a druid who loves, freaking loves bees. <laughs> so loves many bees. bees. So many bees. So many bees. Okay. Uh, thank you all for that, and apologies for drinking, uh, uh, interrupting all of your drinking. Uh, and uh. Um, would somebody like to give me a very quick two minute recap? Oh, two minutes? Yeah, well, two yeah. minutes. We're not allowed to quip. Okay, okay. Ready? Ready? start Ready? the clock. Go. Go. When last we left our heroes, <laughs> um, they were uh, on the run from the law. The law. Um, 
uh, framed for murder and wanted by the Iron Order, the mercenary police force of the city of Dust Helm. Um, what started as a pretty uh, nice start to the week with festivals, games, and the likes of meeting Polly's parents, who were intent to sell their mead, uh, quickly devolved into chaos and anarchy uh, as our heroes met up with their contact from the Light Ravens organization to meet up with an informant from the pirate gang, the Bloody Krakens. And arriving in a uh, square in the town centre, um, the informant was promptly found dead, uh, and the heroes were framed for murder with an assassin disappearing down a side street. Um, the party promptly split with uh, Polly and Kai um, examining the body, recovering uh, a letter, uh, and being into taken, cust- taken into custody by the Iron Order um, with Adeline and Clifford, the blink puppy, not a dog, he's quite small, he's very um, small. Pursuing, uh, pursuing the assassin, but finding... Uh, that following it into the sewers was proving difficult as there were traps laid and Clifford was grievously injured. Um, after being taken into custody, Polly and Kai found that the Iron Order had been paid off. They were corrupt uh, and had been bought out by a cultist um, who they had previously encountered at a raid on the Temple of Saloon. Um, ruining their interrogation of Ersho the Light Raven, um, they promptly uh, dispatched the guard captain uh, forced the cultists to retreat and escaped into the sewers with a grievously wounded air show uh, and a pretty good haul of treasure mm. um, where they met back up at the Yield Jellyfish Inn as their sort of safe house slash hotel they've been staying in for the week uh, where they planned their next move whilst Cliffin and Clifford and air show recovered. Wow. One fifty. Well done. The air quotes were for interrogated, not for light raven. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely is a light raven. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, this is our show. He's the silver dragonborn. Yes, we have a little mini for him. Mm. He's a dragonborn. I did He's not. A... I thought he was a human. <laughs> He's a dragonborn. He's that sil- is not on my notes. I was also surprised. Okay. <laughs> Let's do NPC introductions as well. So oh my god, this yeah. is our show. This is our show. The, the silver dragonborn that you met in the first session that I described to you as a silver dragonborn. He gives us our jobs. Every single time in every campaign oh, we've man. met a dragonborn, I've always thought they were a human for months afterwards. Oh my god. This is like the third time this has happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like, I had like a little vision thing that was like, follow the silver raven. It was the silver dragonborn. Wait, I do remember that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I clearly just actively forgot. <laughs> yeah, he is a silver dragonborn. Okay. Cool. Okay. That makes sense. Lovely. Right, okay, we're on the right page there, okay. So, so we're, we're in our... You're in your... I, I believe you've got um, two rooms in the Ye Old mm. Jellyfish. I believe you've got, like, your own standard room. Mm. That was weird. That upside down is coming. <laughs> you've got you've got your own kind of standard room that I think Miri keeps to one side for you for oh, you just to like rotate in and out of. Um, that's <laughs> semi storage for them, but it is mostly your room. Uh, and then you two and Clifford were being housed in a joint room together, <laughs> kind of thing. Cool. So I believe most of you will have piled into that joint room if you've got mm. an mm. injured or show. Sure. It yeah. is. It's got two beds. It's got a little dog bed in it now oh, because you've appeared with adorable. Clifford and Miri would have been like. Well, it's a dog. It needs a bed. Okay. Mary being the innkeeper. Mary hospital. Yes. Yeah. NPC innkeeper directions. And, oh yes. <laughs> Mary, the innkeeper of Ye Old Jellyfish Inn and good friend of Kai's. Mm-hmm. Yes. Who actually is a human. Yes. And not a secret. Mary's a human. <laughs> Mary's a human. Mary's okay. Far as we can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I have the idea of a big a secret dragonborn. <laughs> <Secret. laughs> it's like the drone is secretly short. <laughs> That's very specific. Yeah. I didn't hide this back from you. Mm. Uh, But yes, so we're picking up there. You've had your short rest. Yes. Um, And uh, I have rolled um, hit die for Clifford and Ursho. Um, But if anybody else wants to roll hit die, I don't know if anybody lost any hit die at any point in time. Did they get any more hit points to top them off? Uh, Clifford is fine. Ursho's not doing too well. He's maybe only at two thirds. But also, he has a point of exhaustion, so we're going to leave him for a hot minute anyway. I know, but I'd rather he have as many heals as possible. I'm at full health. We took no hits in that entire yeah. combat. <laughs> so when Will said when Will said that we def- like we freed Ursho and we managed to do all this stuff, we. to be clear, 
It was not we. It was Big B in a water weird. <laughs> True, also that. Yeah. yeah, you did just kind of swamp that room with summoned creatures. The yeah. They're going to fight things from now on. Oh, I've adjusted for that. Thank no! You. Okay. And we <laughs> tipped tipped your hand too early. early. We tuck him in. So yeah. Ashley's not going to go to point. sleep. He, he is still mm. listening. He wants to know what the plan is because mm. he's tuck quite him in. <laughs> He's his own sentient creature. He's not Clifford. <laughs> Fine. We put a blanket over Clifford. Mm. Yeah, Clifford just zonks out in okay. his bed. Good boy. So, we. Letter. Yeah, read oh the. Oh, let's read the letter let's first. Read the letter. Do you have Christ? The letter that came off the body. The letter that Alex of... would not let us read until right now. I, I, she said we could read it, and I explicitly said I didn't want to know. <laughs> okay. Please tell okay. us what it says. Okay, so <laughs> this is the letter that was folded inside the boot yes. of the uh, bloody cracker. The murdered yes. guy. Yeah. I thought mm-hmm. it was in his vest. Uh, so, the, the, so there was two bits of paper on oh. him. There was one that was a folded letter that was tucked inside his vest, which mm-hmm. is a letter from Ursho explaining right. the meeting point. Oh. And there's another, like... Um, a folded bit of paper uh, with a seal on it uh, that was tucked into his boot. Um, you checked his dead body very thoroughly. I wrote really well, well. I remember. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Uh, yeah, so um, do you remember everything you got from that? Yeah, did you uh, jot that down? I, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. Cool. Uh, so while you just double check that, uh, I'm pulling out the, the, the secondary letter, the boot letter, uh, and um, <laughs> unsealing it. What you'd find is a list of names. Mm. Ooh, yes! Yes! Uh-huh. And maybe you have already told us this because that sounds familiar to me. Okay. I'm, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, mm. I've just been peeping at your notes. Probably. <laughs> it's not like I'm particularly protective of them. You have to walk past me to leave this room, so. <laughs> uh, okay, so you've got a list of names mm. uh, Tezum Malefic. Oh, Tezum. Malefic. M A L E F I C. Tezum, bad guy. Got it. Mal means bad. <laughs> Sorry. I bothered to make these names, you know. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't have a lot of really match and lift? Commander mm-hmm. Helen Groutmer. Recently deceased. Yes. Did you say Groutmeyer? Yeah, G R O U T M I R E. I'm just going to spell these phonetically. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. Mm-hmm. As long as you can parrot them back to me, I don't care how you do it. Mm-hmm. Captain Lyra Yorman. Lyra Yorman. Mm-hmm. Arva Lightwielder. A R V A Lightwielder. Lightwielder. That's a cool name. Mm-hmm. My autocorrect says lightweight. Arva <laughs> <laughs> Lightweight. Lightweight. <laughs> Absolute liability on a night out. <laughs> uh, Professor Klein Verden. Klein spelled K L I N E. Klein Verden. Verdan. Very green. Ooh, captains and professors. Yeah. God, what a bunch. Well, High Knight Gregwin. Jesus. Oh my god, that's not Jeez. ideal. Who's High Knight it? Gregwin, you say? Yes. Gregwin. I have a sense me and him are going to fall out over something. <laughs> Do you <laughs> now? <laughs> um, Hermount Greyblade. H E R M O U T Greyblade. Greyblade? It's just the coolest list of names ever. Can you join these guys? No! no. no. I want to be one of these guys. You, you can have a cool kill name. One of them. If, you yeah. kill one of the, if you kill the one whose name you like, you get to keep the name. Her name is Grotemeyer. You didn't kill her either. I didn't know. I can't remember who did. did you I think it was... Drown her in the water weird? I think it was your, the water, water weird. weird that took it, so that's your kill. So Walter, <laughs> nice. Walter Weird Grotemeyer. <laughs> that's their name. And now. the last name is Clarendon. Iagiri. What was it? Ya- Iagiri. Like I- Iago. <laughs> Close. But yeah, I've written some letters. Iagiri. Iagiri. Sure. Iagiri. Take a stab at spelling that. Yep. <laughs> Probably better than my stab, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the, the list of names. Cool. Well, I think they're all bad well, guys who are probably on the, like, they're being paid mm. money to be shitty people. In yeah. game, we've not heard the head cultist be called anything yet, have we? No, you. No. Oh, um. You, when when no, we were doing you two combat, would know that he's called Tezin. Okay, I didn't remember if that was in oh. or out of character that you yes. said it. You yes. two were aware that he is called Tezin because mm-hmm. he would have been chatting to Helen as he was like walking past yourself and stuff. Cool, so, cool. Yeah, you're aware. Okay, so we know Tezin and we know Helen. 
Cool. High um, Knight Gregwin is a name that you would recognise. Oh, um, he's not a Knight of Ash. He, he is a Knight absolutely of Ash. Absolutely. No. Is. I mean, he was, he was always going to yeah. be. He's a Knight of Ash and he's very high up in the order as well. Would you call him a High Knight? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, their naming system is very simple because that is how I think of it. <laughs> um, and. I'm going to get this guy. <laughs> Holly and. Um, Adeline, sorry, that name left my brain there for a minute, can do me a history check for one of the other names. History. Okay. Certainly. Not religion? No, it's like local knowledge. Are there okay. any that... Um... Can you remember your own name? No, not me. The, <laughs> the, the guy. Just the guy? Thing. The silver dragonborn guy. Ursho. Ursho, yes. Wow. yes. Everybody's forgetting me. <laughs> Is there anybody that he recognises? <laughs> he can do a history check as well, yes. Although he's doing it at disadvantage. He's so tired he can't remember. He has a point of exhaustion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. Hmm? Not that. Ten. Ten? Um, I think I'm gonna apply that expertise that I got because why the fuck not? And yeah. I will forget otherwise. Okay. Which means that I've got So it's not like eighteen. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. 18, 18, okay, 18 is enough. Uh, 18. 18 would tell you that Captain Lyra Yorman mm-hmm. is the current captain of Greyfort. Oh. oh. So she is, your commander is the technical term. She is a captain as her rank, but the person in charge of Greyfort is referred to as the commander of Greyfort. Cool. So this she, is like the, the big fort up in the north, isn't it? No. It's due east of you. Oh, is that, okay, yeah, that's the one. river fort that's halfway you between. Just put the map here. Yeah. <laughs> is it on the way to Perlmire? Yeah, it's, it's the river fort that guards the river oh, right, between yeah, yeah, Dubstone okay. and Perlmire. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, if you want to bring the map down, you're welcome to, because it might actually be really helpful in this session. Mm. Fashion. Cool map. Such a cool map. Thank you. Show it off to the camera. It's all. It's be- on our Instagram. You can see it up close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we are here, so there's Greyfort That's and then Greyfort. there's Perlmire. Yeah. Right. So uh, it is well known to both of you, and I think probably you as well, it's quite well known local knowledge, that Greyfort mm-hmm. is um, a very well guarded uh, military fort that is, um, it's got a small town connected to it, but it is mostly the military fort that mm-hmm. uh, controls all passage of goods between Dusthelm and um, Perlmire. Mm-hmm. It doesn't take taxes or anything like that, and like I think Polly would know that quite uh, a lot more because your parents probably passed through it a few times and things like that. It doesn't take taxes or anything like that. It's just a checkpoint, as it were, to try and stop contraband and things like that. So, um, I thought the explanation was going to be because Polly is our like tax consultant <laughs> specialist. It's true. Polly, Polly cooks the books. <laughs> Polly cooks your books. Okay, yeah. But Captain Lyra Yorman would be the commander yeah. of. I've never Grey paid Ford. my taxes in my life. Uh, does, does speaking as Polly, to be clear, <laughs> Rosie has. I've seen the spreadsheets, it happens. <laughs> do you do some creative accounting back on the farm? <laughs> yes, it's true. Okay. Uh, despite having disadvantage, Ursho rolled really well there as mm-hmm. well. He would recognise... Oh, Christ, words. He would recognise the name Arva Lightwielder oh, yeah. as a cleric of Torm that works within Pearlmire. Oh, no, no, come on. Are you saying Arbor or Arva? Arva. A V A R V A. A R V A. I wrote with a B like he's a tree. <laughs> Arva. 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 She. She. Oh, she. Clearly a girl. Yeah. yeah Tezen's male. Helen female. Lyra is female. Arva mm. is female. Yeah. Klein is they them. Mm. Gregorin is he. Hermont. I don't have his notes in front of me. Um, I mean, we probably don't know if, if we don't know the individual. That's the point, really actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where's this thing that urged to make a pronoun joke about Helen's being was where? <laughs> <laughs> Zing. I guess out. I didn't resist the joke, did I? <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, Ursha would give you that information that mm. um, Arva is a well-known cleric of Torm within Pearlmouth. Cool. Associated with the Knights of Ashtol? No, not really. Yeah. Not right. Really. She helps run some of the temples, and she's mm-hmm. quite high in the hierarchy. So she deals Ooh, with the Knights of Ash, but she's not a member of the Knights of Ash. Okay. I'm getting a real bad feeling about this. These are some very important people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Deadman. Deadman. <laughs> yeah, you never got his name. <laughs> I think I did. Ursha, <laughs> what was the guy's name? I don't know. They wouldn't uh, he's called Desmond. <laughs> oh, Desmond. 
fair. So I'll we'll take the D mm-hmm. from the beginning, put it at the end, and call him Edmund. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's much better. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Edmund's Very good. respectful. Sure. I try. Um, why no. would your informant have a list of names of some of the most important people in this stretch of the Sapphire Coast? I was assuming this was the information. Yeah, he was trying to buy his way out of that to safety. Mm-hmm. He was trying to get out of Dust Helm, and we were going to help him if he I could provide something useful. <laughs> um, so yeah, we were going to trade information for um, pa- safe passage to Dawnguard. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Shame it didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. I saw the escaping assassin. Ayo was also there, just hiding in an alleyway. Ayo! Jesus Christ! Like from, from from the saloon, saloon temple? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, we spoke in the soup kitchen. Yeah, that she was just um, there. Convenient, there. highly convenient. Ayo? Wait. A knight of. Ash? She introduced herself as a knight. Well, no, it's just, just like a knight. Ash. Oh. Was a worshiper of hair? Worshiper of Torm, I think so. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's knight of Ash. She passes through every so often. Anyway, she was also in the square when she saw what happened. She went and hid in an alleyway while everybody else ran away screaming. Sure. Just some information. You've interacted with her before. I I know I am. Yeah, I know of her. What's your opinion? Because they're both very suspicious of her, and I'm not clear on why. Did you bomb an insight check? No, I just don't think she's <laughs> suspicious. She gave us soup, and you were like, she's obviously up to something. She's evil! She spoke strangely, she didn't lie. We were interrogating her over a bowl of soup. No, we just wanted a conversation, and she was being really vague and ambiguous and cagey. There was some we're a stranger! Good stuff. My only notes you... are Io, Paladin of Torm, a little stuff. Okay, uh, Ursho would say that he recognises Io, he's worked with her before on jobs, okay. uh, similar to the kinds of ones you're doing in oh. just like outsourcing mercenary things. Missing artifacts? No, no, this was before this. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, she, she's done a couple of jobs with him in the past, mostly out of working out of Dust Helm, but that's because Ursho works out of Dust Helm. And he, re- he would remember her as a kind and caring individual and a devotee of Tor. Well, that means nothing. Well, maybe he bombed an inside check. <laughs> maybe he's evil. <laughs> I think we should interrogate him. Mm. I'm kidding. At some point, you need to decide when to trust people. You can't go down that road. <laughs> I owe. Uh... I so I was back in town. Mm-hmm. She's in Dust Helm. She seemed to know that there was a meet going on in Bright Dust Square. Or she Bright was Square. just there for a bit. She's like yeah, she's yeah. here for the social. There she's was there for the festival. Yeah. Yeah. She's there for the festival. Yeah. Big yeah. festival. Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of other people well, were also in that big square. Big we just coincidence. Didn't know them. They say keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So why don't we just kind of keep our arms length? Um, but maybe because can... she's just an acquaintance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I mean, she's done good for us in the past, in the same way you have. Is there any way to get in touch with her? I don't have a way, no. Hmm. I feel like tracking down the actual assassin is more important than oh, yeah. someone that we happen oh, no. to run into Absolutely. before. Absolutely, it was less, more, less of a, like, let's do this instead of hmm. everything else, and more like, if we could... Just, it's a thing to keep in the back of your mind. her way and be like, hey, wanna hang? <laughs> Winky face. I feel like we will probably bump into her again at some point. Hey, you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who wants to be brave enough to send that message? <laughs> it's just like a single question mark. <laughs> at two in the morning. <laughs> anyway, the assassin. Anyway, the assassin. Yeah, um, yes, yeah. I, was able to get tra- I was able to get a track on him. Sweet. Same. We followed him through the sewers for a good distance towards the docks. Okay. There were some. Oh, that's you. <laughs> there were there was a trap in the sewers that we triggered. That's why Clifford looks the way he does. Okay. Poor fellow took the took the brunt of it. He's a hero. <laughs> he is. I'm not sure if he'll be up to coming with us for if we're going out to track this guy down then. But I I still have a mark on him. I can still kind of follow it back towards the docks and potentially find out where he went. I'd be interested in doing that. Yeah. How long does it last? 
Uh, eight hours since oh, I put it on him. Ages. And it's only it's been like an hour since yeah, yeah. everything went down. I presume part of this conversation is happening during the short rest because yeah. none of yes. you are really short resting in a way that's like patching wounds or anything. Mm. Like Ursha is like mildly slumped in the corner <laughs> and Clifford is passed out in his little doggy bed, but mm. like the rest of you are a bit more alert, so you can have this conversation okay. while having the long rest. Short, short rest. rest. Short rest. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. We I don't Dust Helm's not safe anymore. The Iron Order have been bought and paid for by Tezin, it seems. Yeah. Um, we might be arrested if we go out on the streets. Probably. Back in the service. <laughs> Back in the With our paintings. Yeah. Um, you know Crested Digitation, <laughs> Do right? you think that if we give them to your friend, she can just... Um, hawk them? Hawk them for us. Hawk the paintings. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Um, I could put them on my back, but they might get mm. a bit sticky. Mm. But we need a route out of Dust Helm as well. Yeah, I mean, we could either go the way of... Um, we could go the way of Greyfort, um, because clearly there's some weirdness happening there, but we could mm. also go by boat, see if Kyle wants mm. to have that. Do we have a specific goal for where to go? Do we have a lead? I, I think the docks, so we can at least figure That's out... That's the lead? Yeah. Uh, it's where to go after. Um, Cause at least Dust Helm. I'm not sure we know where to go after that. We might, we can get out of town, but I mean, there's so, somebody on this list is in Greyfort, somebody else is in Perlmire. If yeah, mm-hmm. if there's an issue in Greyfort and there's an issue in Perlmire, then mm-hmm. we're kind of could eke our way inland. Mm-hmm. Yes, we, we, can take, we can go land way. We can go. We could take a river boat. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good point. That might be easier. Maybe faster. Slip out in something that's small. True. With Kyle's. I'm thinking of Kyle as like a way out. If he's still in town after like... His new ship is fucking massive. I don't think that he would want to. Well, if he's still got his old ship... Well, we could take him. That could be... Or we could from him. Take small, it, or small we could just... Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Why don't we just do that? Do any of us have the upper body strength for a row? <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> rowing aggressively the entire way in. Um, <laughs> so... What was Kyle's first ship called? Like the, the something wing, I think. Sea wing. Sea, sea wing. wing. Would that be kind of like river going? As far as a it's not built. For it's that. literally called a sea wing. Yeah. No, okay, a bit too big. Okay, for... so uh, sewers so to the ports. To the ports. Find the bloody kraken. Maybe see wing. what they're doing. Just like, um, maybe not start any ship, but just literally see if we can overhear anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And. And we then maybe plan, start a little shift. Yeah, maybe, maybe depending maybe. on what happens, plan our next move. Mm-hmm. If we get any good info. Yeah. Yep. If one of the bloody Krakens is already scared enough that he decided to oh, turn yeah. on all his friends and everything. just thought he got a moral compass. <laughs> it could also be that. I mean, you never know. Mm. Um, the fact that he was working with Urshu and Urshu was so incredibly low on funds just to even have to get us to work for him, maybe <laughs> means that I kind of more money can't have been good. So I mean, they, hmm? Urshu said they were going to get him out of town, so there you go. that's so, the reward. Yeah, anyway, so yeah. that yeah. seems like that. Was fleeing. How are you going to get this guy out of town? Yeah. Oh. And could we use the same escape route? He's we... not using it anymore, <laughs> so mm. I was. Just gonna walk him out the gate. Oh, yeah. both terrible. If he's, I mean, if he's with me, he's got safe passage. Yeah. Are you planning on staying in Dust Hill? God no, no. I'm, What's I'm your going, plan? I'm going to Pearlmire. Okay. okay. I can get okay. word to. Oh, oh yeah. Was... We should tell the other Light Ravens. Yeah. As well, we, we should pass on a message. For yeah. You. Will your companion still be? Yeah. And also there? tell Mary that we're wanted for murder while we're staying in her inn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can get a message to Garen wait, if I can get to Pearlmire. I really thought you were going to say Gary. Gary! Gary. 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 Are your two <laughs> companions still based out of the safe house above Larry's? Gary and Larry. They were? Like, I don't know if they're still there, obviously. I've been with you guys. Well, they probably shouldn't stay there. Mm. Be no. worth seeing. Might be worth seeing if that's been compromised. And it's how safe the safe house is. I mean, yeah. they have such a good passcode. I know. <laughs> Friends of Muriel. Hey. Um, Maybe that should be on the docket too, but not mm. priority. Priority number one. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we've got Priority a good number one, the bloody craft. Yeah. Shall we go now? Might as well finish that job while we're here. Sure, absolutely. They're a menace. Sooner rather than later. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. And then when you finally get to promo and get your feet back under you, we can consider that job closed. Uh-huh. <laughs> that would be good. If we deal with the bloody cracking presence in Dust Helm. 
Oh, um, okay. You should stay here while we do this. Oh, no. It's not safe for me to stay here. And so just for be... an hour? No, I should come with you. You are in that no state. Like that seems really like a terrible idea. In the nicest way possible. A little bit of a liability with your... You look exhausted. Truly. One might say you have a point of it. <laughs> <laughs> Can Mary still in in like the basement or somewhere? Over I'm not putting him in a barrel. It's my job to deal with this. Not putting him in a barrel? How oh, we could roll it out of here. That's what you do with dead bodies. He's definitely alive. Well, how are you two getting out of here? Sewers. Back door. Is there a sewer entrance in this inn? No, I mean go out the back door to the alley and then find a sewer entrance. Like, that's how we, got, how we got here. Yeah, so we'll just do that again. You want to come to wherever the bloody cracking went? Yes. Oh, that's a bad idea. You're coming with that's us? A, yes. Mm. I need to figure out what's going on in my city. I need to protect you're, That's it. what you're paying us to do. Right yeah, now. and you, it's not going immensely well. Excuse I keep cocking it up. Me. We're it's, doing an excellent job. Yes, you are. But And you should be blaming yourself for this. That doesn't mean I'm not going. We are dealing with what looks like some of the most powerful people in the Sapphire Coast. So don't beat yourself up over it. Would you be willing to go into the store <gasps> and just wait there? We are just talking about doing reconnaissance. He can come for reconnaissance. But if there's if the sewers are trapped and in his state, he probably mm. isn't going to be the no disrespect. But like, if we're trying to keep an eye out for his traps, you don't feel like you're the most. Well, likely. I won't be first then. Okay, okay. sure. We could take him to the safe. I don't think we're going to convince him. <laughs> we could take him to the safe house. We could take you to the safe house. And then if it's clear, we leave you there. You can get your stuff together. You can we'll send back to, to some you. people. I'm not sitting on my ass and letting you do all the work here. Something needs to be done. Yeah. And I can help. Okay. I can <sighs> help this. Find out sure. maybe find out if Carl's in time. Because we need a way out. No, I'm coming with you. Remind me what his capabilities are other than can breathe some breath weapon. <laughs> which I literally just discovered to do. <laughs> this is still the dragon breath. So he's a dragon cold breath weapon. <laughs> oh. Um good to know. But uh yeah he, he um he, he hasn't really disclosed his fighting abilities to you? Yeah, he, he had something divine that oh. I didn't know if it was, yeah. Page one of your notes. <laughs> Meeting Urshu, blah blah blah, male silver dragonborn. Yeah. Paragraph one. I did know. <laughs> I did all it's forget. the literal part of the of page. He's quite Who did you think this was? I don't know, I thought he was just <laughs> there. Yeah, I put that mini on the map last session and he you did. saved him. He did. Yeah, I, uh, I thought he was wearing a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a silver helmet. <laughs> We're all idiots. Look at this. Anyway. So to be clear, Urshu is not this strapped, right? He doesn't have plate no, armor. He doesn't have a lot of armor and, shield. and stuff like that. He's quite casual armor. Um, mm-hmm. kind of casual. <laughs> day armor. Yeah, he is. I think business casual. I think about the same amount of armor that uh, you consider Kai to have. Chainmail cool. with a bow tie. <laughs> chainmail bow tie. I love it. This little chainmail bow tie. We need to get Clifford a bow tie. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Anyway. Absolutely. Uh, anyway. One's rare of dust out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe at Larry's. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Ursha was going to insist coming to deal okay. with the body crack. Um, I'm... It's, his, it's up to him. It's his decision. It is. If he dies, he dies. At the end of the short rest, Clifford would get up as well. <laughs> oh, Clifford. Okay. Oh. I guess we're all going. Should we just pack? <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Go on then. Yeah, Clifford would get up and like flop on top of Kai, I think. And just like snuggle into him. And them, sorry. Oh, that's... <laughs> He's enjoying <laughs> this immensely. He looks a lot better. Okay. He didn't look particularly good after the trap last time. No, he hit zero at one point. No, he did. Um, Which means he's probably out of it, though. Um, Alright, yeah. Should we go into the sewers and yeah. track him towards the docks? Certainly. Okay. Right. Keep your eyes open. There might be more traps. Okay. Can you read the length? I'm talking Who are we talking to? Ursha. Okay. Can I ask Ursha if he can, if he's familiar with the kind of like shorthand language used by the bloody Krakens? I like the implication being that Adeline was asking Clifford that. <laughs> he's the only other NPC in the room. No, no, Clifford. Clifford, do you know how to read Thieves' Can? <laughs> Clifford, oh! Clifford's seen the Thieves' Can, and I know he can't read it because it would have said trap. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean he knew what that meant, though. <laughs> yeah, it's not written in Celestial Thieves' Can, so... 
<laughs> you have not <laughs> tested <laughs> Clifford's reading ability can yet. Can Ursho read Thief's Cat? <laughs> uh, Ursho would tell you that he can do bits and pieces he's picked up um, during his time working in Dust Helm, but he doesn't, fl- he, he, he doesn't know it. Okay. No. Great. We will keep our eyes open for any Thief's language in the sewers and okay. ask you if we come across it. Okay, cool. cool. Right. So you're moving out of the inn to the nearest uh, sewer like plot hole yes like the ninja turtles of old like the ninja turtles of old okay so are we the... telling people that we're not coming back or are we just vanishing into the night which is midday <laughs> for mary it, maybe it would be safer for her to genuinely not know than have to lie yeah because obviously zone of truth is a thing the type thoughts is a thing so i mm-hmm. think that maybe just dipping would be better what would I Kai mean, want to do? She's your friend. Yeah. <laughs> we know that our show was legit tortured. Yeah, we just go. Yeah. We just go. Okay. okay. Okay, so are you trying to stealthily move towards the sewer opening? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Certainly. Cool. Shall I cast um, Pass Without Trace? Ooh, if you got it. I'm going to ask for self, stealth check, so... Okay. How how long does that last for? Um, it's like an hour? It's ten minutes, I think. It's oh. ten minutes? No. Maybe so after the sewers? Yeah. How how close? No, like, it's an hour. No, no, no. no. My button's um, I was just going to say, trace. how close is it to the sewers? Like the, There's an opening. The um, how long are we out outside for? You do have to walk down a street to get there. So, okay. like, you're not out for long. I'd say maximum two minutes. But oh, okay. we are talking about, like, broad daylight on the street. It's yeah. a cycle of us, but I don't mind. Yeah, if you're happy doing that, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. It lasts for an hour, so we can... Splash through the sewers a little bit. Yeah, yeah. do a bit mm-hmm. of like urban like stealth. Yeah, with like blending in with crowds. And Just walk like incredibly that. casually. Sure, absolutely. Whoa. We could even if there was a more direct route to where you came out, we could actually maybe stay above ground for a little bit longer. But maybe we'll do. Not sure, chance it. Yeah, what right. are you thinking with Clifford? Because whilst the four of humanoids mm. will be able to do quite easily urban stealth yeah kind of thing you have a dog that's kind of see-through with a raincoat oh well i mean what do you the want the coat part isn't see-through it's not um <laughs> so that's one thing i would um <laughs> you stuff him in the bjorn <laughs> yeah i would just chuck him in a bag <laughs> pop him it's like swallow him again and wrap him in a wee cloak so he just looks like a like i'll explain a strange again. Baby. baby explain in celestial once again i'll be like okay mm-hmm. right remember her last time i did this you were very stressed out by it but objectively it was better than falling into a bunch like a big lake you don't, <laughs> he fell in the you lake. Don't remember? He fell in <laughs> the lake. Okay, so yes. Did you like it better to be falling in the lake or to be wait? Is he a dog? He would have liked that. He preferred the lake. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Clifford, there's no lake. There's no lake. There's the opposite of lake is dry land. So you're saying there's no puddles. <laughs> you're saying swallows here because it's safer and then we can go splash about if you if you're good and you stay. You're gonna right let here. him go splashing about the sewer. Yeah. Oh my god. A little bit. Okay. He would hesitantly pad up to you. Okay. He's, he's not happy. It's very clear he's not happy. Okay. Would you like a good berry? Good boy. He sort of swats it with his paw. Well, Does he get the hit point? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. let's, okay. let's do fast without tracing. <laughs> stealth checks? Yeah, stealth checks for everybody. Um, with a plus 10. Plus 10. Oh my god. Are you good? Yes, I'm very good. I'm amazing. Uh, I'm yeah, vanished yeah. from the campaign. <laughs> you can yeah, roll for Clifford for me and I'll do a show. So roll a d10, he gets plus two. D20. Huh? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> roll a d10. Oh, you have done a sabotage at every turn. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think of seven things at once. What do you say you got? Plus. He gets a plus two to start. So cool. plus 12 total. So, yeah. Okay, uh, Adlin. 26. 26. And Clifford? 21. 21. Mm, 32. 32. 33. 33. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> We've left the campaign. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. Uh, and despite disadvantage with for our show, he still gets a 24. Okay. okay. I'm going to cast that. That, yeah, that, yeah, that's just as well. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm completely happy that that is a very good successful group check. Damn right. Huzzah. Nobody individually failed, and as a group, you excel. So Highly competent we are. You are quite comfortable moving through Dust Town. Any particular 
sorry, were professionals. Mm. Uh, any particularly large disturbances or anything like that will break that kind of like soft illusion that you're sort of pulling with a bit of magic and stuff like that of like mm. you're just one of the crowds one of the festivals don't bother <laughs> us kind of thing. it's fine um but yeah any like major disturbances by yourself will break that so bear that in mind mm -hmm. okay Copy that. but we're heading to the sewer opening then yep. into the sewers and then i'm going to try and pick up the trail of the bloody kraken who i still have a favorite full mark on yes and can you read out the wording of that to me so I know yeah. what is going on again. Of course. Um, so it lasts three hours. I think it's been up for. If the short rest is over. Okay. An hour and it's probably like 20 minutes. Sure. Like 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so I get advantage on perception survival checks, checks to locate or track the creature. Mm -hmm. uh, and. I think with one of the things I've taken, I can't roll below a uh, seven you can't roll. on those same checks. Very good. Okay, yes. so um, you can either try and retrace your footsteps. Yep. Or you can roll to do survival. What do you want to do? What, and just track them from where we ended the sewers? From your sort of ping, yeah. Oh, I might. Uh, a thing. Huh? A thing? Uh... A thing? Oh, you're doing an ability check to track someone. Yes. Yes. So. Oh, do you have a very specific thing? For I this have thing? a very specific. Oh, thing. cool. I will be if I am playing a musical instrument or something instead of checking for danger. <gasps> um, it gives advantage to somebody that is navigating, um, foraging, or tracking. Hmm. Okay. You already have it. I already have advantage from the favorite full mark. Okay. If I, I hadn't had a chance to mark him, that would be great. I <laughs> could not make you passive actually. With advantage. Uh, it's objectively a plus five. Yeah, it's plus five. Yeah. To survival. Uh, yes. So I don't know. I don't actually have proficiency in survival. So. Oh, that's weird. Um. No. Yeah, what have I got? Uh, ten. So ten plus two plus five from advantage. 17. 17. Okay. And I also can't roll below a. Uh, it wouldn't yeah. matter. No. Yeah. I could offer you guidance, but then I'd have to drop a uh, passive trace, so I don't care. Keep passive trace, yes. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So the passive would be 17. 17, okay. Um, from that, you're very e you can very easily follow your own footsteps back. Like, that's not a problem for you yeah. if you want to do that. Or you can try again and figure out whether. Because um, the. It's, it's not Hunter's Mark, it's. What was it? Favoured foe? Favoured foe, yeah. Favoured foe. It mm -hmm. gives you a kind of like m m magic pull towards them, doesn't it? Like a little tether kind of thing? Sort of, yeah. So I'm asking you whether or not you want to follow your own footsteps back to where you were in the sewer, mm -hmm. or if you want to try and just follow the magic pull. Uh, I think he would have been trying to lead me into traps. So I, th I think I'm just going to go straight from here. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, rather than try and like pick up the route from where I left off because there would have been traps that way. Okay. So we're going to go straight from here towards the docks because we're in, what is it, the lower ward? Or are we in the docks region at the moment? You're in the docks, yeah. Yeah. Then. Yeah, the ye old jellyfish is in the docks. Hmm. Then we'll just, I think, go straight from here. Okay, are just... you at the front? Yes. Can I interest you in a 10 foot pole? <laughs> I, love, I love a 10 foot pole. Thank <laughs> you. There you go. I'm a pole. 10 foot pole. Pole Santa crawl. Amazing. And I will use it to tap any suspicious cobblestones yes. and bricks in the wall and do 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 do. What is everybody's dark vision situation? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Cool. Clifford and Urshu do not have dark vision. That's okay. fine. They're not doing any uh, um, poles anymore. Clifford, Papoost, and Urshu's in the middle. So somebody yeah. will have to like g help guide Urshu because he can't yeah. see where he's putting his feet because there is no yeah. light down in the sewers for, except for the occasional grate. What so. order are we going in? Shall we just cast light? <laughs> can you extinguish it when we get close to something? Yeah, if I, I put it on something action, then yeah. I can just mm. cover up the thing. Cool. But I don't know why I said cover That's exactly up. what I was thinking. <laughs> Clifford! <laughs> Clifford! <laughs> it's a splash Clifford <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, and we'll really proceed <laughs> <laughs> tracking, uh, okay. tracking the dude through the sewers. Okay, so we're doing magical tether pull, we're doing uh, Clifford being swaddled. Is he having light cast on him? I think it might be beneficial. On Clifford? Well, just I, just uh, something, something that is easily Should concealable. Putting it on something that Urshu is holding, would that not make more sense where he can 
Yeah, since he's the one that needs that's to see. That's a good see. idea. Yeah. You can put it on a nice shiny new copper piece that we that we picked yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> For your troubles, I slide him a copper. It's glowing. <laughs> but, oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Fine. Um, fine. Marching order. Uh, I'll go at the back. Okay. I think. Cool. Second. Yep. Urshu. Urshu third. third. You're first. Yes. And Clifford is part of you currently. <laughs> <laughs> he's not happy with this. He, I must admit, because as soon as like you get into the sewers, he can see the water, and he's like. That's why Urshu has the light and not him. <laughs> <laughs> As he just smushes and you're like, oh, well, there goes the light. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, roll me that survival check at advantage, please. C. I can't roll below a Yeah. On the die. Uh, I can't read that. I think that's all. 13. Is that overall? Overall, yeah. Thirteen overall. I I I, I, I don't have proficiency. I only get like a plus two. Okay. On survival. What was you your... rolled a four and an eleven. What was your sick tower thing? Would that be? I don't oh. remember. What I it can was. automatically pass or fail, but then the next check or save I make, I will automatically fail. So. Is it worth it? To track him. It depends. If I mean. This is like the whole next thing. It is the whole next thing. But the one thing is obviously keeping in mind that probably the next thing that you're going to fail is going to be a trap. <laughs> but I got good berries. You can always follow your feet as well. Mm-hmm. Back to where you were. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with 13. You should stick with 13? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you just kind of follow that pull. Because <laughs> um, I think the only thing that will lose us really is time if it's going a bit Oh, I'm going to give you a bar date. Oh, well. It's too late now. <laughs> I have upset the DM. Should I have taken the pass? <laughs> You've not upset the DM. I just need to read through the flowchart. Mm. <laughs> Love a flowchart. Okay, uh, roll me a d100, please. Oh, Ooh. oh no! Well, that sounds ideal. This... For your information, you want high. You take up three die? Mm. No, okay. I don't know. I, thought, I don't know what you were doing. I don't know what I thought. That's not, not high. high. Do I you could, want to do I, anything about it? I could. I wonder what an auto pass would look like on a D100. I mean. Heidegger counts as a skill check. I'll it take it. Does? I'll spend it. You want to spend it? I'm going to use that tower. Do you have any reading. points of recep- uh, inspiration you'd rather use? Can you give inspiration to. If you have inspiration. I think no. I have one. Can I, I grow up? Give it so that we don't all die in this sewer. <laughs> Every time somebody does something cool, I try to say like inspiration, but I, I've never had one. I don't think. You started since, the campaign with one. Since that, I've never had one. Okay, cool. Um, Guys, do me up, please. I'd love some inspiration. <laughs> I do need help giving out inspiration, so please, yes, okay. do point out cool mm-hmm. things. Uh, yes, if you have a point of inspiration, you can donate it to others cool. with yes. no additional charge. Would How you rather that? Usher sure doesn't get an NPC. <laughs> do better than a 38. <laughs> The odds are good that I will do better than 38. I feel inspired. Yeah. 83. So I'm not spending the tower reading on this yet. 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 Yeah. 83. 70, nice. 72. That's good. That's good. Okay, cool. That's a good number. That's a good number. In the nine times table, and the eight times table, mm-hmm. four times table. You mathematician. Yeah. <laughs> so many. Mathematician. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. Um, I think it takes you a little minute to focus in on this thread. Mm. Um, it's been an hour since you've seen this person, it's yep. been a while since you've focused in on this, and I don't think you're used to having that um, connection with somebody for such a length of time, because this is about the first time you've had it for more than an hour, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Do you usually have them killed by now? <laughs> they're usually dead by now. Yeah. Yeah. If I specialised in another uh, thing, I would literally know the exact direction and distance That's to them. That's right, you mentioned that last But I don't section. have that uh, spec, so... That's fine, we don't need it. It's a vague pool. You're a vague pool of forwards, forwards, backwards, through this wall. 
<laughs> through this wall, yeah. 72. Yeah. <laughs> 72. So I think it takes you a little while to find your direction within the sewer. Obviously, sewers are not really your natural habitat either. I don't imagine Adeline spent a lot of time navigating through sewers, either in his childhood or through his nights of ash trading. Um, Nope. So I think it takes you a little minute just to sort of get yourself on the feet and because of the nature of the sewers between uh, beneath Dust Town, because it's a very rich um, city, it's got a lot of really good infrastructure and stuff like that, it's got a lot of crisscrossing sewers that all connect and it's a bit of a grid block maze kind of thing or you could just go around in circles if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it takes you maybe half an hour of wandering through the sewers, which is longer than it took for you to get to the, um, the trap that you stopped at last time, mm -hmm. um, to work out that you are actually following your feet again. So you take yourselves around in a few really annoying little loops before you get yourself a little bit more orientated and you start recognizing sections of the sewers as i walked past this last time i walked past that last time god <laughs> damn it and like clifford starts helping you out a little bit as he starts pulling in certain directions uh, so i find myself kind of following the route that the, the assassin took that you took last time yes. yeah that i followed yes mm -hmm. okay and um, i warn everybody when we get to the bit with the poison trap like this is where the, i bumped into that it so might have been reset you reach that area and you want to make me a perception check and you can make it with advantage thank you with the ten foot pole. You can so far. No, no, don't let's not blow it all at once. Um God. I could spend the thing to auto pass. What is it? It's a one and a four. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What does that get you? Six. 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 Okay. Um Can anybody else look for things? Without advantage? <laughs> You're next in line, so it would be you that would be looking. Um, I guess it depends on whether or not you think Kai is actively looking for things as we come towards stuff, or whether Kai is just trusting Adeline and, and well, falling in behind. Adeline did say there were traps, and I like not dying, so okay. I feel like I'd be keeping an eye out just okay. in case. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I don't think Ursho is. I think Ursho is yeah. actively just yeah. trusting you guys to be able to do these kind of things. Uh, and I think Polly might be a bit too far back because you're having to walk single file. I'm looking at the walls. I want to look for the thieves camp. Okay, uh, you can roll me a perception check for that. And Kai, oh. can I get a straight perception check for uh, this, please? And it's better than a four. Um, perception thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> 14. 14. Um, so you can see that there is a lot of thieves count sketched, particularly once Adeline gets his bearings a lot uh -huh. more. You can see that the tunnels that you're walking down have a lot of thieves cats mm -hmm. uh, sketched across it. And maybe conversing with Ursho a bit, he can point out bits and pieces um, as you're going as, I kind of recognise that. That is for smugglers, but... Mm -hmm. We're a sewer, don't know what that means. Kind of thing. It's like little bits like that that you can point out that are not mentally helpful on their own, if okay. that makes sense. I want to try, I'll, I want you to resolve your sh shit first, cool. but I okay. want to try something with the, with the cat. Uh, 13? Yes. 13. Okay, a 13 is more than enough for you to see around Adeline as he's getting really confused, <laughs> um, but to see that the trap in front of you has not been reset. Oh, you can well, see that the... Um, so the worst thing in the world. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the depression panel, uh, like the, the false button, uh, false floor panel that is a button, uh, is still depressed. Um, and it's quite easy for you to tell that it's not cool. being reactivated. We cheer it up. Sorry? We, we tell it's doing right, it's depressed. Uh -huh. oh. uh -huh. We have inspiration for that. Yay! <laughs> so far all of the inspiration has been for bad puns. I really like pity puns. inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take pity inspiration. So oh, what did Polly want to do, sorry? Um, look at the thieves camp particularly around the area where the trap actually is to try and mm. or she can maybe help me with this but try and identify like try and kind of ingrain what that stuff looks like so Ooh, that okay. if i can see the repeating pattern even if i don't understand it maybe something there means trap okay mm. so if i see it again i can be like hang on <laughs> can you roll uh, me an intelligence check and you can get advantage from Ursho. oh thank you so much Ursho. i appreciate it oh nice Intelligence, she said. Yes, please. How intelligent am I? Fifteen. Fifteen. Pretty intelligent. Okay. okay. I think 
between you and Ursha, maybe like stepping back while those two um, try and find the trap and deal with that as uh, they're like, where's the ten foot ball? <laughs> we need the ten foot ball! Why is there a fishing rod? Kai, I so don't <laughs> Clifford is somehow on the end. <laughs> he probably would if you put something on the end. Um, yeah, taking a bit of time, you step back a little bit, and at the junction that's just before where the trap is. So, um, if you imagine it's got uh, like a crossroads junction, uh-huh. and the trap is like here-ish. If you stop at the crossroads, there's a lot of markings on the walls, like perpendicular to that passage okay and spending a bit of time there i think between you and ursho you'd be able to point out a lot of markings that you haven't seen anywhere else in the sewers Uh and that might give you an indication as to these mean that there's something different here because you haven't seen those anywhere else in the sewers and you haven't come across a trap anywhere else in the sewers sweet i'm gonna mm, sketch them down a little bit okay and just so i can have a piece of paper like compare them if we see them again okay do you want to keep pushing forwards yeah. yes very very cautiously okay. I, I give the sheet also i guess to adeline who is at the front it's very useless to me at right at the back do you explain it to him as well do you spend like, a few minutes i let, I let all, of, all of them trigger the trap and then i look at it and be like huh <laughs> trap, trap. trap. Yeah. Uh, yes, I do explain it. <laughs> do you explain to Urshu who explains it to me? <laughs> no. Oh, or do no. you just yell? I do not play a game of telephone. I say a laugh, I go, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, and then I go, hey, I'll let check us out. Okay, so look for this, mm-hmm. and this means probably, I think, that there's mm-hmm. a trap. Oh, uh, okay. So just no. look a little bit more closely, maybe poke it a little bit more right. aggressively. So, so I see any of this written anywhere ahead? Yeah. Start poking stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Okay. okay, cool. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. I return. Return to the tile. stop and reset. Presumably nobody else has come back this way. That's true. Yeah. Don't know if that's important, but... Mm-hmm. Potential? Can pushing There's probably not somebody hiding around the corner waiting for us. <laughs> pushing, um, pushing forwards, but slowly, because anything past this point has presumably not been triggered, if there are any more traps. Do I get a sense I'm, that we're getting closer? to the... Does your bond allow for that kind of information? Not really, no. <laughs> no, I'm going not give currently. you any additional information. Okay. <laughs> I just keep following the, the vague the pole. Tuck. And you've got the 10-foot yeah. pole? Yes, with the 10-foot pole. Okay. Is that a magical 10-foot pole? Yes. Yes, yes. technically. So it can't be snapped by a trap. Well, I don't know. It says it turns into a fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty magical. That's the magic. Yeah. I don't, it's, it's I don't know if it's item, but, but they do. It's a magic item. Most magic items can't be destroyed by mundane traps, from my understanding. It has to be a magic trap to snap it, I believe. Um, maybe. It doesn't say in the okay. <laughs> information. Okay. Weirdly, it's never come up. Yeah. Uh, can you roll me another survival check, please? Certainly. Can I continue to have a balance from favorite poll? Yes. Okay. 16. 16. Okay. Burn this dice. <laughs> no, it's spicy. Leave it. It keeps knocking into your other dice. Yeah, yeah, like that's the problem. It's got like two fours and a nat one. If I really pass on the six of <laughs> I've got to roll it into a clear corner of the dice tray. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so I think with that roll and having now spent a bit of time getting your footing in the sewers and remembering how to track things again and stuff like that, um, and getting your confidence back, Adeline, it's, it's not been the most confidence building day, like their arrest and everything, and Clifford getting mildly shredded and stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see as like you pass by that trap, uh, Clifford's just like, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I hug the baby. Oh. He winds he is him down. He's all... mm, poor thing. Um, but yeah, pushing forwards, you would um, c- manage to continue down this passage. You can see this passage actually stops having so many branches on mm-hmm. it as well, so it gets a lot easier after a while of like checking down these branches and like checking for football fall down these branches and to see whether or not your pool changes as you step down them each time. Mm-hmm. Get, it gets a lot easier and a lot quicker then as less of these branches keep appearing mm-hmm. and stuff like that. How are you checking for traps? Going um, forward. Are you keeping an eye out just for the symbols? Are you using the rod? Are you using um, your eyes? 
Yeah. Probably going like a cane. Probably kind of, like, kind of like, a, in front of like a visual aid. Yeah, I'm kind of tapping any particularly protruding cobblestones or bricks on the floor or the walls, looking for trip wires, looking for writing. Okay. Um, definitely going at like half speed to okay. really take the time with it. Okay, can you roll me a perception check, please? Cool. Can somebody offer assist? Uh, no, the only reason he doesn't have disadvantage is because of all the assistance you've Whoa, got. Whoa, whoa. Jeez. I'm gonna spend my um, tarot thing to pass this. Okay, you also pass? Yeah. Okay, you notice two things. Yep. You notice that there are uh, a series of symbols scrolled on the wall at one of these junctions, again, you come across uh, what would be like a T-junction, mm. and your pool is telling you to go that way, but you can see on that perpendicular wall there's some of the symbols that Polly had scrolled down. Oh. Not all of them, but some mm. of them. Right. Uh, but also other symbols there mm. as well that doesn't seem particularly familiar to yourself. Yep. Um, and you can also see immediately ahead of you across the sort of... Um, I want to call it a pavement. The way that you're walking down the sewers that I imagine the sewers mm-hmm. is you're in sort of an arched tunnel and on either side of it there it's are like a stone and paths then it's and yeah. then it's the water in between. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And you can see across um, maybe three inches off the top of the um, the pavement yeah, <laughs> on the either walkway. side of the, sewer, uh, the walkway um, you can see there's a very thin wire. Cool. Mm. I want to from one side to the other. Point out the tripwire and then the symbols, and specifically ask Polly and Ersho if they can have a look at them and okay. see if they can figure out what. I have become a pro at these cats. Yes. <laughs> Do any of us know how to disarm a trap? Um, set it off. With a ten foot pole. Yeah. From safety. Right. <laughs> oh, uh, can I? Do I have an investigation? Can I? Um, well, I point that out. Can I? Potentially use investigation to figure out what the trap might trigger. Ooh, yeah. In terms of like, because there's there... poison darts, and I would love to collect those. Like we poison darts in the wall, or is there like a big thing that just shoots out the wall and just knocks you in the water? Yeah, or go for it. Swing axes, a big like an Indiana Jones. opens, yeah. and then just like an ooze comes out to kill us. That one. Oh my god. Oh wait, I would have all the things done. Perfect. But Great. Technically, that means you didn't crit fail. <laughs> We don't do crit fails in this game. Yeah. That was pretty agreed. Mm. Um, okay. I have no idea what this does. No, you have no idea. That's fine. It's a wire. It it's, a, it's a wire. And I'm, I, it wouldn't take a ma- like massive leap to Adeline to say, that's probably not going to be good. Wire traps are never good. <laughs> you don't just get like hit in the face with candy or something. <laughs> and even that isn't, candy? isn't great. <laughs> um, I think... Even because of your like limited time with Thieves Camp and stuff like that, whilst yes. you can match I, up the symbols and be true. like, maybe half of them are the same as yeah. you have on the person. Presumably those were the ones that always meant trap. <laughs> and we actually really picked up some extra ones. That's my assumption. Maybe the extra stuff was specific to like poison dart or trap. type of trap. And this yeah. is going to be flamethrower trap. Yeah. Or something like so that. So maybe <laughs> we can confidently say it's different from last time. That's a good conclusion. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, shall we all step oh, back like and the stick? Do you want to trigger the wire trap? Is 10 feet far enough? I mean, we could also just carefully step over it. That also works. It might be the sort of trap that lets them know we're coming Ooh, as that's well. True. So maybe mm-hmm. If it causes like a cave in. So maybe we should leave it. Yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Careful stepping. Yeah. If, Careful stepping. If Ursula was holding out his lit up penny. If um, you're not rushing and he's got light, mm-hmm. he doesn't have to make any kind of check to get cool. over it. Great. Very we good. all. Should we just leave it as is? Yeah, we'll leave yeah, it as okay. And we'll proceed very, very carefully. Okay. Yeah, in every single TV show, a wire trap is always an early warning system. <laughs> there is a spell called Alarm. Mm. Maybe they don't know spells. Maybe they're all rogues and there's no arcane tricks <laughs> to Okay, so Adeline mm. is leading. I'm starting to get the sense that's yeah. a bad idea. You're doing wonderfully. <laughs> so far, so far we haven't died, so that's the strong Or even been hurt. That's true. Yeah. Okay, apart from Clifford. We haven't been hurt this time. time. <laughs> I didn't prepare any of the D20s for this session. We haven't been session, hurt so, so <laughs> Well, we have the break, you can dig out some more or something. <laughs> I'm stuck okay. with these. So, continuing down the, the passage, <laughs> you, the noises around here would start to change. So what would have been the normal sort of ambient noise of the gentle movement of water mm. through um, stone cut tunnels kind of thing, passages, that is the sewers, because they're quite well maintained. They're grimy and horrible, but they were well built when they were built. Suddenly, not suddenly, gradually changes 
and you can hear this sort of rushing of water up ahead mm -hmm. and uh, your eyes begin to adjust a little bit as you can see there is light coming from up ahead. Okay, I can whisper back down the way that uh, we're approaching the end of the tunnel. Okay, we're approaching the end of the tunnel. Okay, Polly, <laughs> Polly, we're approaching the end of the tunnel. You're, Do you want this back? You're friends with the fun. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Do you want this back? Sure. And he give you the copper <laughs> coin that's got light on it. <laughs> and I think you see, like Clifford is starting to like. Really? Get out of his little like bubble. Oh, no. You're doing good. You're doing good. Stop him backing. <laughs> I hold him extra tight. He is very unhappy at this I point. I give him a pet, a little kiss, head kisses, and I offer him another good berry for him to smack. He can't really smack it when okay, he's off fair. like this because he's sort of like that he, before you put it on the floor and he whacks it on the floor like I he would a bug kind that. of thing. Interesting. Okay, so are we all still? <laughs> Slowly creeping forwards, yeah? I sure. So. Yes. Can Has I... it been an hour? No. Good. Good. Task Trace still in fact. Amazing. Can I get a stealth check from everybody, please? Okay. Yes. We're really good at these. Don't Why did you that. say shit like that? That's such a terrible thing to say. I do this. I'm sorry. He does. Not even God can stop us. You don't get to roll for Clifford this time. <laughs> no, I'm not going to roll. Do you want to roll because you're carrying him? Uh, yeah, Clifford doesn't I make his stealth I think this side of the table doesn't curse. choose. He gets whatever Do point. better! <laughs> it was his fault! <laughs> he looks yeah. so bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, no, it's <laughs> genuinely me. I do this. What does our show do with his disadvantage? <laughs> with Pass Without a Trace? Pretty good. Okay. Without Midlink? Okay. So we're probably Ursho still might, better than us. Ursho and you might be the ones who have it. Uh, How do you do? I have a 30. <laughs> okay, okay, well that's fine. Is anybody changing or adding anything before we get to the end of this? What do you get overall? 17, which isn't that bad. It's like, not that bad. bad. Yeah. I got 23. Oh, that's, I think we're fine. Oh, okay. cool. I think as a group we're probably... So that's about yeah. Trace really carrying us here. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Rosie rolled a two. I rolled that too. Okay, Ursha with his disadvantage got a 12 and then a 22 okay. with his pass without trace. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he's still pretty good. Okay. That okay. beats fine. most things passives. Yes. Yeah, We're doing well. We're doing well. Okay. I'm going to keep my mouth shut when we roll from now on. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> never. <laughs> How many years have I been plagued by this? So funny. So funny. Uh, so D and D. Uh, Rainbow, Siege. Rainbow Six. Siege. Rainbow Six Siege. You curse us in that all the blink of time. Oh, There's a map selection screen where like each team you get this three, choice of three, and each team gets a veto. And when it's like two bad maps, I'll say, "Hey guys, let's not veto the worst. Let's veto the second worst, and the other team will veto the worst, and we'll end up with the best." And it never fucking happens. Never works. And we always end up with the worst bloody map then. <sighs> oh, okay. So slowly padding our way forwards down the <laughs> side of this sewer tunnel, um, the rushing of water becomes louder and louder in your ears, Adeline, as you approach this opening. And what you can clearly see now is sort of like a raised. Um, lip mm -hmm. of a much more open space mm -hmm. and you can see that the sewer water channel uh, mm -hmm. the sewer channel with the water in it that you are currently walking down drops off into this it mm -hmm. goes down like a like a waterfall yeah a sewer waterfall pleasant yeah. smelly yes <laughs> uh, and i think going nice and slowly with fairly good perception checks and a fairly good passive perception that you've got you would be able to see that there is movement up ahead as well like some in, in the tunnel not in the tunnel at like the end of the tunnel so there's like somebody like leaning against a wall here oh uh, okay it's quite hard to see exactly what they look like but you can definitely see like a person with like arms and legs and stuff like that like a normal humanoid person medium medium yes not so not a goliath and not a halfling yes um okay. like leaning back against the wall okay is this them um i don't know you're the one with the magic vein is it pointing me roughly straight towards them, or is it because there's an open space beyond? Mm -hmm. Am I getting kind of out and down? You don't get direction from your tug, do you? I see. I think I get as much as you want to give me. I think you're getting forward. Okay then. As in, you're on the right path. 
Mm-hmm. Fair enough. This is probably like the tr- the trail that the bloody kraken took was a long list tunnel and out the end, and that might be what I'm following. I'm following the scent, the magic scent. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but there is a sentry up ahead. Possibly. Can I, I see if they're wearing like bloody kraken robes or tattoos not robes, clothes? Robes. Yes, too many cultists. Mm-hmm. Um Tattoo dagger. You can do me a perception check. Cool. How far away are they? You I would say because you're quite a cautious folk, mm-hmm. you would have stopped maybe thirty feet away. Too sensible, aren't you? Cool. Mm-hmm. Perception uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Um, I think spending maybe a bit of time, mm-hmm. like squatting down in the sewer passage, so that you're not as noticeable in case they do glance around and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and watching them like stretch and stuff like that, because they're obviously bored, kind of thing. They are obviously a sentry. Yeah. Um, at this opening, kind of thing, you would see a glimpse of uh, red ink on one mm-hmm. of their exposed arms. That you, it's not hard to make the connection yeah. between that and the bloody, ta- uh, bloody crack and tattoos. Yeah. I just had a really fun idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I can whisper it to the party. So I've still got the aquatic adept thing. So I can okay. I can hold my breath a long time. I can slip into You're the water. Stinky. I can slip into the water. Go on. Creep mm-hmm. underwater all the way up till I'm like within twenty feet of them. Mm-hmm. Rope dart them out of the water, drag them in. Ooh. And just drag them. And just like rest them in on consciousness. Hold them under. Underwater. Yeah. Yeah. Under the flowing water that goes over a waterfall. Ah. I'll be like 15, 20 feet back from the lip. The water How are you intending going to brace in the direction that we're intending on going. Yes. So mm-hmm. if he goes over the waterfall, then that would be very Bad. noticeable if, if, it, if it got fucked up. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I like your idea, though. I really do. I, really I like, like it. it. can help I'm, mm-hmm. very, I'm not sure how you're going to be stopping what's, yourself moving. What's the kind of like sewer floor like under the water surface? Like, Presumably quite slimy. Very slimy. Very slimy. Because all it would take is like one good kind of chunk of debris that's become like wedged against the side for me to burst myself against. Can we just like tie a rope to you and then the three of us could just brace you so you don't go over and you just don't let go of the guy? Yeah, that could work. <laughs> that's um, that's true. Absolutely work. That's true. We are really relying on him being strong enough to like just. But you have the rope down. dart thingy as well, so that's true. Yeah. That's true. Can he be grappled? Um, yeah. 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 How far did you say uh, we were away from the guy? You're, I, I think 30. you're quite cautious, so I would have said you'd be about 30 feet yeah. away. You can move if you want. If you want to be further back, closer, that's up to you guys. Mm. Um, I also have Thorn Whip, which fills people. So, mm-hmm. um, What's the range on that? 30 feet. 30 like, feet? Yeah. Cool. So that's why I was asking. Because um, mm. that would mean mm. that we could absolutely tie you, but then I could also try and whip him so that if you're not yeah, if you're you getting get... dragged you could be pulled toward us and not away from us yeah well you could get them from here how close mm. the range are you okay 20 oh mm. well, we could just do it simultaneously you just eek uh, like 10 feet up and yeah I could all yeah <laughs> yeah just we'll just wail on him simultaneously I thought I thought we're dragging them into the water mm. so that they don't get a chance to shout Scream. for help yeah. That's true. I like. I like that. I definitely do. Um, if you're worried about Adeline not being strong enough to like hold him down or whatever, I can also stay underwater for a long time, and we could both grab him. I actually. Yeah. Don't... I'm reasonably confident in the grappling part. Yeah. Um. How long has it been, just out of curiosity, since I cast um, uh, Path Without Trace? I think you're getting on to you about 40 to 50 Adeline. minutes. Yeah. Pardon? 40 to 50 minutes. Uh, okay, what was your, what did you say? What if you thorn with Adeline? <laughs> I mean, I could, but I, I, would, I wouldn't want to hurt him. Unless, yeah. do you have a thing where you could just be like, I do minimum damage? No, I would say no. I would have to. Okay, because I have um, enhanced ability. It is concentration, though, but um, if I give you both strength, then you'd have advantage on your strength checks. Oh, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, still, still need to make sure I don't get swept over the edge, which I think is going to be tying, right. tying a rope and like air show and want to use kind of holds it on, holds on to it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like around the corner of it. We would just all hold on. That's totally fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I think keep password trace because I really want to be able to sneak up on this person, and I can still be within the range of password trace. When I dart them, if I'm like 
Just cast tidal wave on them. I will do that. Subtle <laughs> so tidal wave Real down funny. the sewer tunnel. The yeah. waterfall somehow s- climbs back up and hits him in the face. Mm. That would be very funny. Okay, so should we rope, rope, Dark. sneak, grapple, drag underwater, knock him out? Have a horrific drowning scene. Yeah. Choke him out underwater. <laughs> Pretty much. Do you want us to take pot shots whilst you're under there? Uh, I think no. I, 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 <laughs> just like, what can I stick until he stops moving? I have a trident. I can just Where's hit him with I'm it. I don't know how to use a trident. Yeah, I don't know how to use a trident. I'm just like, eh. I was thinking of going for like a non-lethal approach here. You're okay. drowning. Why? Him. Oh, are you going non-lethal? Whoa, choking. Okay. Um, the difference like, between really? choking it out and drowning. To be fair, I'm the only one that said drowning. <laughs> if you're underwater and you're choking them out, they're drowning. There's no Unless way around that. Very quickly lift him up. But you said you don't want to do that because he screams then, so he has to be under the water for your plan. Under the water, like gasping for air, he's probably going to drown. Yes. I, I you are murdering this man. Do well, you care? Oh, yes. Why do we care now? But also, they're pirates. Really? Because they're... no, they're... they would try and kill us. Did Shall we just try and kill them? Yes. Great. Yes. Okay. Okay. Show the devil. How are we trying to kill them? Uh, I'm gonna sneak up on them underwater with okay. a, with like a rope harness. Yeah. Need tie rope. Yeah. Okay. Tie tie. Do I need to roll the tie knots? No, you're. You've got to say yeah, in the back. I have. To, mm-hmm. You gave me proficiency in not tying. I did. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you you good. You good. If if Kai is specifically doing it, you're in very safe hands. Okay. If. I need some help. Mm-hmm. I'll stick one hand out of the water and wave it, and that means thorn whip this guy. If okay. I stick a hand out, it means I'm not waving, I'm drowning. <laughs> Super smart signal. I just high five you. Nice one! Yeah. You're great! You're doing great! You're like, oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to stick my hand out and wave it. Okay. Okay. So you're, you're lowering yourself down into the I'm going to slip into the water as delicately as possible. Okay. And then, how, how deep is it, roughly? Uh, I think it's only about five foot deep. So you can technically stand there and be above water if you can get purchased with I'll, your feet. I'll crouch. Okay. And then I'll try and like kind of like clamber my way along, like kind of like whatever sort of handholds and the bricks I can get. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, there aren't handholds. You should do the thing like when you're in a swimming pool and you like walk on your hands like a little shark okay. underwater. How strong is the current? <laughs> um, like, am I gonna need them to like gently let out the rope yes. to get me in the right position? We can do that. There's three of us holding this rope. We have so many ropes. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Cool. So, so who's taking feet? lead on the rope stuff? Because I'm going to need somebody to make an athletics check. They, it will be at advantage because of What's your all the assistance. Athletics? So between it's Polly, Clifford, Kai, and Ursho. He's got exhausted. Well, it's a disadvantage, so that'll just be straight. What's um, yours? Strength is plus zero. But what's your athletics? Plus zero. Okay, well mine's plus two. <laughs> okay, um, Clifford doesn't have athletics, so he is only going to be like, If there's three people holding on to this rope, so, somebody's getting advantage, advantage. yeah. yeah. Somebody still has to take lead. Okay. I think I have. Well, I don't know what our shows is, but also he can get advantage. His would just he be gets flat. disadvantage. He doesn't have proficiency in athletics, so he he would only get a plus two. Shall I do it? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, that also makes sense because I was tying the rope and I was right behind Adeline, so. I guess sense. I could give you guidance if you wanted, but I would, that would mean dropping past without trace. I think we still need the pass without trace. We've got for like however 15, long. 20 minutes left on it, so. Mm. Yeah, if there's a sentry here though, then there's a good chance there's yeah. more people mm-hmm. after. Okay, so roll me that athletics check. Nat 20! Okay, yeah. shall I roll again? If, if, if that you was want. That The other one was a nat 1, I'll keep the nat 1. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, oh. you got it out of yeah. Yeah. Really? Okay, like, I think with a natural 22. 20, between, between the three of you, and I think at this point, uh, Clifford would have, pop, would have popped himself out. He is uh, sick of being fine. swaddled. He, um, well. he understands the concept, though, of being quiet. He just doesn't want to be in the background. He's band learning. Anymore. So you guys retreat a little bit after her, um, setting up the rope thing with Adeline. He slowly lowers himself down. And uh, what is your dex? Plus four. Plus four. Ooh, okay. Excellent. I, I think you would start to slip a little bit as you lower mm-hmm. yourself into the sewer. Mm-hmm. It Because of how old these sewers are as well, because these sewers are ancient. Mm-hmm. Dustown is a very old well, city. It is just slime. It's, there isn't 
footholds in the brickwork like you were talking about or anything like that. It's just slime. So you just like, and then you like brace yourself against the the weight of the rope, and you can see that Kai is like doing very well at slowly inching you out. Great. I just thought thumbs up comes out of the water. Yeah. As you crouch into the water, it's not clear water. It is a horrible green colour. Well, really you out. There are yeah. Why is it green? <laughs> Is a sir. It's a sir. Oh. Yeah. Wait, what colour would you rather be, Isla? I know, it's just green. <laughs> Worried about, I don't know, the diets of everyone in Dust Hill now if it's green. Highly plant based. Clearly. Okay. Yeah. It's surrounded by farmland. But anyway, really let's stop talking about this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, um, and you get within 20 feet. With your head under the water. I'm not going to say you've got a clear shot on him. You're going to have to mm-hmm. poke your head out of the water to do that. Okay. Is that alright? Yeah, I've still got past without trace on. Yeah. I'm still within the reach of it, so <laughs> I'm just kind of like, just like terrifying. just up to there and then... Has anybody else seen that Marines advert? The Royal Marines advert? Uh, where oh yeah. just sort of go, Oh my god! <laughs> that is what we've got. Particularly Adeline's with like the grossness of the situation. <laughs> mm. Way cooler. Your faith in Evelyn is appreciated. Okay. Do you want to take a shot? At I'd guy? love to. Okay. Um, it will be a, a check from them. Um, do you have to roll? I can't remember how we do this again. Do you have to roll your attack? Uh, no. If I'm targeting a creature, uh, they make a sort of a, a grapple check. Um, if I stealth highly enough, will this be like surprising them? They do it with disadvantage if they don't see it coming. How do you want to do it? I reckon somebody appearing out of the sewer to grapple you would be quite surprising. <laughs> would be the surprise condition, I think, is the mm. technical term. I mean, that's a dark scissor would be no good, but I don't know about the other ones. Mm. Why is it not on my thing? Surprise technically isn't a condition, but I think that you get the it's the incapacitated it... trait whilst you uh... have the. I think it is a condition of 5e. Yeah, I think, it's it's like a, I think they switched it from a surprise yeah. round to a condition or something, right? Yeah. In, the, in a surprise condition, the first round of combat, a surprise creature can act or react, I think? They can take action. You can't move or take action. So it's, it's incapacitated. You cannot react. Well, it's not incapacitated, it just can't move or take actions. There's mm. a difference between... Because yeah. incapacitated is a lot fucking worse. Mm. With, no, incapacitated is can't take actions or reactions. But the surprise it. condition doesn't say that they are incapacitated. In I, way. You, I do not believe there's a surprise condition. <laughs> I, I believe they're surprised, mm. so they cannot move or take action. Yeah. But or react. In any case, I don't think any of that applies to them having to make an, uh, a a no. check. But if I sneak well enough, can we do with disadvantage? I'm not going to be so bold as to ask for an auto success. For myself. If I was just minding my, my own business and somebody grabbed my ankle, you and didn't tried say to he yank, looked bored and wasn't paying attention. I would also, I would, I would. Definitely he is bored and not really paying attention, but a grapple it doesn't depend on, on mm. whether or not he's paying yeah, attention. Yeah, so if you can't move, take an action, mm-hmm. or take a reaction. I can make an attack roll with advantage if it, instead, if you like. Well, what what is the mechanics of your grappling hook? Grappling arm thing. Oh, I've already told you, they make an acrobatics check or an athletics or acrobatics check. Then we'll go with the acrobatics okay. check. Do I get any sort of bonus on that? Like, do they have disadvantage because I'm sneaking up on them? I don't think it's in the rules. It's not in the rules. You just decide. Yeah, it's not in the rules. This is entirely your call. If they would have disadvantage. Because they're not, they're not ready. If this was they an attack roll, I'd have advantage. Yeah, I'm going to give them disadvantage because they're not ready. They're not looking for you. They I'm don't know you're honorable there. Honourable DM. Yeah. Okay. There's no way that they would be ready to jump out the way yeah. as they would normally cool. do in combat. So I'm going to give them disadvantage. DC 15, athletics or acrobatics? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 15. He said. DC 15. Mm-hmm. Gonna be a success. Ooh. A success. Oh, that looks yeah. close. What yeah, you, that was a twelve get? on the die with a plus three. Ooh. Um, so meets your DC. Fuck it. I, extra, extra, extra attack. <gasps> Second shot. Do it again. Yes. I was gonna say silvery barbs. <laughs> Ooh, all of these excellent choices. So many choices. 
Y silvery barbs. Yeah, yeah. If you, Does if you. Silvery barbs have. Um... Oh, what? Well, somatic, verbal, and. Materials. And checking. Somatic. And checking. Is that, it's just ask... verbal. Just verbal. Then you can do it. Yeah, because you are holding onto a rope with two hands. Yes. So you cannot do somatic components currently. But you can do silver bars if you want, or you can go for the shot. Decision. Uh, we'd be doing this independently, and I think you'd get this off first. Okay, so that's your okay. reaction. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay, so silvery barbs is I re-roll. Yeah, and you use your lower one. Okay, so I want to get disadvantage anyway. So I'll take the twelve there, uh, and then I'll just re-roll one more die. Yeah. Yeah. Re-roll so. the d20 using the lower roll. It's better. No. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, still pass advantage you want to the somebody. Advantage? Yeah, absolutely. I'd, You're in the middle of doing. I'd love. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Extra attack. Um, um, I try again. Okay. He is now aware of you. Okay. Because you have just shot at him essentially. Yes. Uh, so he's doing this as a straight. Straight roll. roll. Come on, low. That's a failure. Yay! That's a failure. Okay. Yeah. Into the water you go. I'm so guessing they get a chance to squeak. <laughs> time for reverse bath time. So I think there'd be a shink as you go for it, and you miss by a hair yeah. as it clicks off the side of the sewer, and you can see um, that this guy starts to turn towards you, but what? Hey! And then there's a whoop as the second shot comes in, and he whoop, and he's down in the water. And I presume you want to now immediately yank him towards. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do the yank. Okay. Uh, so I think it's now a contested. Grapple. So I'm going to go into initiative at this point, okay? Because he's going to start getting actions, and everybody else can take turns and stuff. So if everybody would go like forever <laughs> to roll me initiative, uh, and we'll just start from the top of the round from that. I didn't, oh. I didn't do that great either. I shan't be taking that for So the pull that I get is part <laughs> of the <laughs> same attack. Yeah. So as part of a single round, you get, um, you get. Two attacks, don't you? That's normal for you. Yes. Yeah, and the pull action on your second attack. Uh, on your second attack, that's a free action. That doesn't require you to do anything. That doesn't require an action of any sort. Doesn't uh, it's attack. sort of a continuation of that same attack. Then, um, yeah, that happens on your turn. Which yeah, which I, which is which I'm taking right now. Which you've just completed. Yes. No, it's part of the same action. The, the yeah. if I tag them with it. I can then choose to yes. drag them to me. Yes, so it's now happened. We're both saying the same thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. But yes. I get to do that before initiative. Yes. 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 yes, yeah, that has happened before initiative. So at this point in time that we're rolling initiative at, Adeline is about 20 feet away from the end of this waterfall yeah. with the guy, whose uh -huh. name is Terence, okay. underwater Terrence. in front of him. Oh, okay. I, I, I need to make a second where, roll to pull him into the water. <laughs> no, you're just pulling him to you, aren't you? Yeah, but that takes yeah, a minute. We, so we homebrewed the hell out of this. Oh, okay. So he fails the check. Yeah. He's grappled. Yes. He's been latched. If I want to pull him to me, yeah. it's a contested athletics check. Oh, okay. Well, we need to resolve that first, though. Okay. Sorry, I, I forgot about that. But I thought you just advantage. yanked him towards you. And you do have advantage. I have advantage from the thing. Thank you. Yoink. Uh, 19. Yeah, he fails. Different dice. <laughs> I need different dice. You don't need them on these incredible modifiers. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he is yanked towards you. Okay, cool. We're in the war. Okay, and now can I get initiative from everybody, please? Yes. Okay. Does Clifford get an initiative? Yeah, yeah, so somebody Yay. can roll me a d20 and add two for Clifford. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> it's not my best. It's not really my worst. Which one's it? Still wow. one before me. <laughs> ah. What did you roll, like on the dice? Uh, two. Oh, well, we're not. Okay, fine. Fine. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> but this guy's underwater and grappled, so. Yeah. You know. What's he gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did anybody get over twenty? <laughs> Absolutely. Not. <laughs> I'm not looking to it. Oh, I need to roll for Ursho as well. I forgot it. Ursho's gonna come through the crit. Ursho do good. Oh no. Oh no. That's We're off to a bad start. The best. Okay. You prepared so much also, we weren't expecting to fight back. That was a dex check, which means he does have disadvantage. True. <laughs> Points for honesty. Yeah. Points for honesty. Uh but inspiration, inspiration. for honesty. <laughs> 
Yeah, sure. Although it didn't Thank change you. the result because he rolled fucking terrible <laughs> that first one. Uh, okay, uh, fifteen to twenty. <laughs> Ten to fifteen. Ten. Ten. <laughs> okay, Ten? who's got the higher decks? My you do. my decks is plus three. My initiative is plus four. Okay, yeah, but, okay. So yeah. and yours is plus three plus three. Plus three, plus three. Okay, so, so we've got... Yeah. So By not, technicality. At normal plus three, because I have no bard. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Uh, okay. Uh, is this hand racing? Five it was. to ten. Oh, it's girl. Five mm-hmm. to ten? Um, uh, Clipper got an eight. Six. Eight, six. <laughs> wow. Wow. What did Urshil get? He... Seven. Yeah, seven. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> right I'm a little busy. <laughs> so I'm going last. Oh, oh no, Adeline's a little busy, okay. like wrestling a guy underwater. <laughs> uh, and then it's a uh, show. Okay. See cool. if this is like some 90 pound teenage girl that just happened to sign up for a pirate crew. Oh. I feel. Her, but... her name is Terence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you've already told us the name's Terence. Yeah! <laughs> um, it's a 90 pound teenage boy who signed up for a pirate crew. <laughs> That's fine, then. <laughs> okay, so top of the initiative is Terence. Of course it is. All right, Terence. Uh, what gonna, you got? He's going to try and break the grapple. Is that contested? Fail. Yeah, it's a life. contested check, isn't it? Okay, behave, right? Behave. And are they going to use acrobatics to try and get Terence? Because okay. they're trying to leave. Funny so from serious one person If they break out, yeah. Yeah. are they getting swept over the waterfall? Potentially, you'll have to find out. Sweet! Fine. No, we don't want them to go over the waterfall. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. That is a dirty 20 from me as well. So oh! A re-roll. No, status quo. <laughs> status maintain. quo is maintained. He's, he is grappled, he stays grappled. Stays grappled. Don't so know what that was. That takes an action mm. to do the grapple check, so that's fine. Oh, no, um, Ooh, we've got a live one here! <laughs> oh, we've got a live one! <laughs> Get the fishing pole! <laughs> I'm holding the rope that's stopping you from going over a waterfall. Don't actually drop nope. it to get the fishing pole. I don't know who has the fishing pole because you had it for some time. Had, I've left it on the I, side. I assume okay. he just left it. Clifford got it. He's swimming with a 10 foot pole. He's by foot of water. Uh, okay, so I think that is Terence's go then because they can't use any mm. of their other Incredible. actions. Then. Okay. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, so it is Kai. I want to try to get him is holding onto the rope, is that anything or do Should I just hold You have to keep your hands on the rope if you well, want to stop them from yes, slipping. Yes, but like that's not an action or anything, that's just, I keep doing that? Yes, but it means cool, that you cool. cannot cast any spells that have somatic components. That's what I'm checking. <laughs> um, you, oh, oh, actually, all material, because you're not technically holding onto your spell casting focus. Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so it, what it can I be got? verbal only. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's doing ability thingies, isn't he? What? Ability checks. He's doing ability checks. Yes. Well, that's an. I have things for saves, and I have things for attacks, but I don't have anything that okay. affects ability. What would you like to do then? Um, I'll just do a mind sliver. Why not? Okay. What happens? Um, he does an intelligence save. Intelligence saving throw. Okay. That's a three. Okay. He takes a whole one damage. Okay, cool. And then if he does a save, then he takes a d4 off of that save, if that comes up. Okay, cool. Uh, anything else, Kai? Um, bearing in mind, if you move, Adeline's I'm moving. just going to stay here and hold a rope. Okay, cool. Polly! Do we want to reel him in, get him a little bit closer? So there is less likelihood of if something fucks up, them mm. falling uh, off the. Can we waterfall. discuss that when it's not your turn to try and keep the initiative moving? No, I'm asking well. because Kai's at the beginning of the rope. So yes, but Kai has mean... also just taken an action. Okay, is it uh, an action to reel? Yeah, yeah it would have okay. been an action to reel. Right, oh. I understand. Do we want? To I don't think really? I can do anything then. Um, you can let go of the rope if you want. Why would I let go of the rope? <laughs> to do stuff. But. What? If you want um, Adeline to drown and fall over a waterfall, but you could do some things. I think this is a terrible idea, Alex. Okay. This then... is the third time today you've tried to sabotage us. <laughs> then what do you want to do? I, like I said, I don't think I can do anything. Okay. 
I will communicate with Kai that I think I should re- we should reel them in, but we would have to kind of be doing that shit simultaneously. Okay, cool. You don't so, have any, like, um, spells that you can do that are verbal only or anything? I could cast Blur. <laughs> <laughs> I understand why that's not exactly top of your list. I don't, I don't think... I think I'm good, thank you. <laughs> that's very fair, okay. <laughs> do you want to hold your action at all for anything, then? I have, yeah, sure, because that would mean that I... Hold your action to reel them in? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> it is... Now somebody that's off screen. What? Oh. Unacceptable. Well, do they know yet? Because we've been very quiet so far. Well, Terence yelled hey, when what? the first attack missed. That's nothing. Then he did. Okay, cool. That's right. uh, and it is now flippered. <laughs> um, Twenty. <laughs> I don't know what Flippard's gonna do because he can't really do anything. He's splashing in paddles. He needs a splash. Yeah, he can jump into the water, but no. I don't think that's a good idea it's for him. It's gross. I don't think he'd want to do that. I think he would. He's a dog. He's got a cute little rain jacket on. He does, yeah. Um, I think He's Clifford is going to run up to Ursho and give him there advantage on his next um, check. Yay! Good. He could do it. Um So I've done a quick Google of um, rules for choking people out in 5e. <laughs> there aren't any. Thank God. Okay. Um, so I'm not quite sure where you're thinking going with this, but I just want to kind of maintain this grapple underwater. Okay. Um, there are rules for holding your breath, and it's measured in minutes. Minutes, yeah. Which takes a long ass time. Yes. When you, um, um, sorry, don't mean to interrupt, but when you cast or something underwater, what happens with your breath that you're holding? Uh, you immediately go from holding your breath to having exhaled your breath and going into the drowning state. Is there a Suffocate. way that Adlin mm. could force him to exhale? Oh, yeah, no, how thinking. how actively if he like compresses him hard enough yeah. that he like <gasps> breathes out. Uh-huh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so there are no rules for this. We are in uncharted territory here. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Is that what you want to do? You want to try and like squeeze the breath out? Yeah, I want to choke him out. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Um, I've, I've reeled him in, and I imagine I've kind of got him in front of me with like an arm around his neck. Like yeah. Nelson. That makes sense to me. Okay, how do you think Adeline would try and whack the breath out of this person? Because like holding onto their neck isn't gonna make them. I like oh fail. no. Um. So they punch them in the stomach. I mean, I mean like, there are other. Underwater. You can also like, you can, like, cut off the oxygen to somebody if you like squeeze them like that around the neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but so, that's the same as holding their breath. No, uh, if you cut, <laughs> it's gonna get gruesome. If you cut off oxygen to their brain, they'll pass it a lot quicker. I don't want to go down that route. Well, how do you want to rule this then? I'm asking you what you want to do. I told you what I want to do. You don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you how you think you would get him to exhale that breath. I'm not. I'd be trying to choke him out the other way, not with the ex. That, that was Paul's that was suggestion. suggestion. Oh, okay, yes. cool. Um, I want to just try and choke this guy out underwater. Okay. This got really dark. <laughs> I mean, we want to try to do this yeah. as quickly as possible. Adeline okay. is a highly mm-hmm. uh, decorated squire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So does the suffocating rules count in rounds? It depends whether or not this person had a chance to get in a breath before getting dragged underwater. Actually, the first thing he yes, did before he went underwater we was yell. <laughs> hmm. If I could like do a contested check to move him from holding his breath into suffocating, because hmm. that's in Constitution modifier number of rounds. I like that better. Cool. I'm staying away from the squishy, gruesome stuff yeah. as well. Then, um, so I would think that it's going to be a con from him. Because he's trying to like keep his breath in, but I'm happy for you to either try and do like an athletics thing to try and squeeze the breath out of him, mm-hmm. or if you want to do something that's more attack based with dex, to, as people have been saying, to punch mm-hmm. him in the stomach to get him to exhale. Uh, I think I'd prefer a straight athletics roll. Straight yeah. athletics. On my front, cool. is this going to be contested? Uh, he's going to try and do a con check to try and hold on to his, um, breath. Yes, yeah, so okay. I'm going to have a contested check. So, yeah. Okay. Inventing new maths. 17. He got a dirty 20. Ooh. So... It's tough one. Reaction's back. You're doing really well. He's not breaking out from your grapple. You are holding him underwater. He is unable to scream, mm. but he is not yet going into the suffocation okay. kind of stages. Cool. That's fine. We got um, all the care in the world. I'll work on that. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to do, Adeline? Um... Uh... Am I doing this with both hands? Like, is this taking, like, both arms to keep him underwater? No, I don't 
don't think so. You could have wrapped up with your yeah the rope dart on the, the rope one hand dart with one hand and if you're using that arm to shove him underwater mm. i imagine you've got like one arm to smash him with and stuff like that if you want one to. hand comes up to do the thumbs up like real me in okay <laughs> okay. Mm. okay cool yeah yeah that, that's kind of how i imagine i don't think when you've got mm. him so wrapped up i don't think you need both hands to press him underwater mm. yeah I think if he starts to break free from your wrapping mm. and stuff like that, and break free from the grapple, you'll need two hands to try and shoot I'll do, I'll do the thumbs up and I'll go back to grappling him with two arms. Cool. Uh, is that your entire turn? Yes. Okay. Ursho is going to... Oh, Ursho went before me. He got a seven. I got a six. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you got an eight again. Cover, cover got eight. Cover got eight. Okay, sorry. I put you in that file. I'm going to keep initiative like that. Sure. Okay. I've written it now. Our show is going to hold his action to help with the reeling in, I think. Okay. Uh, and we're back to the top of initiative, and it's now Terence's go. And he is going to try and break himself free again. Okay. So, contested. Check. <sighs> Inspiration. Mm, good show. Fourteen. Nineteen. Ugh. Okay. So he is going to successfully break out of your grapple using his mm. action. Yep. Spluttering up and taking a breath uh, above water and look at you all. I'm, Another. I'm not. Else? I'm not holding on to him anymore. You are not holding on, and there'll be a <laughs> second before he goes ah! Ah! and starts getting dragged backwards. Uh, okay, he is yeah. what, twenty. Feet. You're only really one person now, so I think. It's <laughs> yeah, twenty. The rope gets a lot lighter. Feet mm. from the edge. Yeah, the movement of this is enough. He's gonna go over the waterfall. How how quickly? Um, like this turn. This turn. Oh. He's cool. going over in his turn. Um. Yeah, you'd see him vanish. Terrence, you ruined our plan. <laughs> you'd see him vanish over the edge of the water. That's so quick. That water um, is moving so quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Thank you for the rope. <laughs> I think perhaps without a trace can be dropped now. <laughs> yeah, I think somebody may have just noticed us. <laughs> or at least noticed Terrence. It's just like a beat of silence. <laughs> like, go, go, go. Wait, 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 wait. Think that through. Did he know? Was it a splash? A splash. Not a oh, splat. Okay. Okay. It's definitely a splash. Okay. It's definitely a splash. Oh, he might have said that. What did we say about the guy we were just trying to murder? Um, my go. So, it is your go, yes. Real Adelaide back okay. in. Three, and I think three. three people's held actions <laughs> for that would be more than enough to get Adeline up onto the side and in like a crouched oh. position. You are still like kind of attached to each other. But yes. I thought we were just holding it. Yeah. Well, it's wrapped around it's a, him. Around him. Yeah, yeah. so it, it, it's quite a long rope. I don't know what you're going to do if you just drop it, kind of thing. Drop it. And he's just got. Adeline's just got a tail. Yeah. A very long tail. Mm-hmm. If we need to do more things, then yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then anything else, Kai? Um. No, because we don't know that other things are happening. Okay. The guy's gone. Out of game, we know there's other people in yeah. game. We're like, hey, it's great, so I'll just stand there. Okay. I mean, it's not ideal, because he's going in a direction that well, we yeah, want to go. Well, yeah, but it's happened now. I think, I think I want to stand quietly to see if we've been noticed. Okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should hide. Maybe we should all go under the water. It's quite no, fast, Lord. all <laughs> fall over the waterfall. That's awful. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Let's all hold actions. So okay, uh, can I just... could I do if I'm standing to listen to see if anyone's seen us, can I do a perception check to see if I can hear anyone else? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> no. <laughs> um that's not my character sheet. I think that's a nine. That is a nine. A nine. Okay. There's a lot of rushing of water yeah, and I'm... spluttering from maybe Adeline and Clifford as they're getting quite wet and stuff. What's Clifford doing? Clifford would have immediately gone up to Adeline and been like fussing him. Uh, good boy, good boy. Uh, Polly. Um, we heard him yell, we heard him fall, we heard him splash. Do mm-hmm. we hear anything else? 
Do you want to make a perception check? Is that my action? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. Did, yeah, because my action was the rope, and then I did one. That's much better. Yeah. 21. 21. So 21 would be more than enough to hear shouting from past the lip of the waterfall. How close does it sound and is it getting louder? The 21, uh, it doesn't seem to be getting louder, but um, in terms of how far away it is, I think that's quite a hard thing to tell, but you're judging maybe 60 feet. Can, can we uh, over the lip? Can I gauge how many voices yes. that I can down? Hear? Um, at least three. Hmm. You've got password trace up, right? Yes. Creep up to close with the edge if you wanted. Yeah, can I do that? I'll use my movement to to have a little peek over. Yeah, sure. Do you want me to stealth check, please? Okay, sure. Um. Uh. Twenty. Twenty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Cool. Password okay. trace are good spell. Twenty two. Twenty two. Okay. Yes. Yep. Cool. Nice. Okay, so <laughs> creeping up to the edge, what you'd see is might be a bit easier just to show you actually. Oh I'll boy. This point. So if we shuffle a few bits and pieces. Yes. Oh. oh there's a thing under here. What? What? Oh, chaps, I'm sorry, the reconnaissance didn't go. <laughs> so, totally reconnaissance Where? <laughs> okay, so you are above this section here. So what you are is essentially two stories up from this section from in this line. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right yeah. here. Cool. You don't have the elevated things. No, here, I can pass it if you like. Uh, yeah, that'd be really handy, thank you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you're looking down into this section. Okay. This bit here is covered from like, uh, that's only like one story tall, so you can't really see okay. this section right. just yet. Okay. Um, you can kind of see the beginning of it. So you can see there's like um, a more open bit and you can see um, the tables and stuff here. Uh, oh, where's my minis? So, so far the only thing is one of us, which is something. Like they only know that Adeline is true, true. an interloper. If Terence has had the wherewithal to tell them this. Yeah, I mean, maybe not yet, but... Oh, there's a good more. Oh, I should have gotten you more. I forgot, I didn't the think that we have Ursho and a dog with us. Elevators? Yeah, I'm going to need one as well. Uh, you mean you can flip them upside down for multiple people? Oh, that's true, yeah. So, what you would see on one floor below you is there's an individual there. So if we call this the ground floor, yep. you've then got a first floor and you're on the second floor, if that makes sense. So they're like a level below you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And then you've got another individual. Three! <laughs> Man overboard. Polly died. We can, we can flip it over and just like use Polly as a representative of everybody else. It's perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. I have a dice journal, my, my accoutrement. These are the dice I don't think all four of us are going to film that. What are you talking about? Make it happen. There is a second one as well. And Kai, your inspiration. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure you'd be able to see that yes. person. Don't that just now. Okay, so I think that's what you can see. So this, uh, so the level that you're on, if you can imagine that that just curves right round. Mm-hmm. And it's just circular with two exits. The level below you... Is the same in that it's just a circular um, uh, lip here with passages going this way and this way. Mm -hmm. So this guy is stood in front of one of the passages heading off in that direction. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then this is the ground floor. And there's a ladder going all the way up and down. So does the ground floor have these two north and south tunnels that are the same as at our level? Yes. And And the middle level goes perpendicular? Yes. Will you? Thank you. That was very helpful, thank you. Uh, and I think you can see these two, but you can't really see any further into this room. You can room. see these two? Yes, these two yeah. are as marked. Okay. How high above those two are we? Uh, so each floor is approximately 10 foot, so you're approximately oh. 30 feet high at the moment. So 20, 20, 10 and 10? You're on the second floor. So Oh yeah, so you you stood on the bottom of the second floor, so yes, you are technically 20 foot from the ground. 20 foot above the ground. Okay, oh. awesome. Does that make sense? We're 20 feet yeah. from the ground. They're not tall ceilings. Yeah. No, that's cool, that's cool. Same. 
And this one here is only 10 feet? Well, that's as low as that goes. Yeah. Let's, let's just... It's so cool. why do you figure that out, there Polly? That's what you see. Uh, <laughs> what was your question, Polly? What, what do you want to do? Oh, um, I can see some people. Yes. Um, um, they are... So because of the way that like, you've crept okay. forwards, uh-huh. you are... Uh, they haven't seen you. It's quite clear to okay. you that you, they haven't seen you. But they are looking in that direction. They are well aware that there's noise in that direction. Is, can Polly see Terry in the water at the bottom? No. Oh. Oh. Well, he's only float after, like... Bodies? How army? How, how army? How armoured was he? Uh, he had armour on. He had, like, bits of metal and stuff on him as well. Okay. I don't think Terry's doing very well. <laughs> okay. Terry, Terry is very dead. <laughs> what would you like to do, Polly? Polly's going to look at the situation. She's going to make a very quick decision. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That... Our cover has been blown, and that probably past that trace is going to be very helpful from here on out. Um, Reasonable. And instead, is going to cast spike growth. Okay. Nice. Where are we doing that? Here. Okay. So yeah, you can see up until sort of this line here. So you can see any of these squares. So you have to po- pick a point of like origin kind of thing. Is this person growth. actually ranged? And is this person actually just... Both of them have ranged weapons out at this point in time, but you can clearly see swords at their sides as well. Okay, cool. So Um, they are versatile. Sweet. Uh, Yeah, I think that... And this ladder here is coming up from the water. So that goes all the way up. So this would be their point to get up to us, presumably. Okay, that's good to know. Um, Then, yeah, it's um, 20 feet... Um, sphere, or <laughs> cone, or not cone. Um, Twenty foot radius, or radius, yeah. Spike growth. Avalon's got this as well. I think uh, that if I center it here, that would be best. Is that right? Yeah, ground in a twenty foot radius. Because if I got, because that would mean I'd get him or no. them as yeah. well. They were there. And they were there. So it was that way around. Not that it yeah. makes any difference, but yeah. I don't, I, I can't read this thing. Where is 20 foot radius? Oh, oh this yeah. is it, here. The, the circle is 20 feet, Holy yeah. Holy fucking shit, that's yeah. loads. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, then maybe I'll scooch it a little bit more like that, because I can, I can, I know I've just moved all of them, but, um, because I, I can see this spot, yep. and that covers everything, and that also means that if people run towards mm. us, then I've got every base covered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't realize it was like Yeah, it's quite big. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's really brilliant. Yeah, I'll do that then. Okay, cool. Um, so what happens immediately? Um, uh, it, nothing happens immediately um, because it's about movement. Okay. Um, it does say at the end, the transformation of the ground is camouflaged to look natural. Any creature that can't see the area at the time the spell is cast must make a wisdom save. But they can see, they so can they know. So that it's like it. if anybody else comes, they don't presumably um, Terence, or whatever his name is, um, he he can't see it. So if he pops up and like tries to climb out, he'll have to make a wisdom yeah. save. Yeah. Um, it was. Is that a wisdom save to see the spike? Oh no, it's not even a save. I'm so sorry. It's a perception check. Okay. To see. To, see the... to tell that it's hazardous. Right. To mm. tell that it's hazardous. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Where did the ground come from? Uh huh. Okay, cool, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, does it do any damage now, or is it just restriction no, of movement? it's movement. What's really weird is that it talks about it being the ground in a 20 foot radius, which is technically a sphere, so I don't know how deep this is, but maybe the ground of this is... <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. And it like, starts to creep up the walls a little bit. Uh, I oh. guess, if they're 10 feet at all, then it also means that up here, I guess, the ground will also have it. Yeah. Which there's is very ce- weird. There's a ceiling within 20 feet. I am a little confused by that. I have never had... I think cross we'll cross that bridge if anybody starts walking on the wall. We'll find yeah. out. Well, that's not the ground, so I think mm-hmm. that that's out, but just the yeah. floor. Above. Okay. Difficult terrain and damage when moving, right? Indeed, yeah. indeed. Okay, cool. Uh, anything else, Polly? That was awesome. Aww, yeah, shucks. This is going Just a compliment from my GM. Um, I actually think I'll move back a little bit so that I cannot be seen by them. Okay. Uh, if you want to just keep track of what floor you're on, I'm happy for you just to use that base map. 
yeah. and just mm. so we don't have so much yeah, that's, precariousness that's totally fine. Um, uh, and it also it helps me tell what square you're in which would be useful mm. this one. I really like the being tall so um, yeah I uh, I will stay I'll stay above um, I'll retreat back a little bit um, I'll, I'll move so I'll maybe not be able to move back that far actually um, but I will retreat as far as I can okay that's awesome um, next up is this guy yeah this little man mm. yeah so because pass without trace has dropped Mm -hmm. He can now see you all. What do you mean? Uh, he, or he would have seen Polly as she came forwards, yeah. cast a spell, and then drop back again. Yeah. Uh, but as you drop back again, he can no longer see you. So, uh, yeah. Clifford. So if he just does nothing? Uh, you don't know what he does. Oh, you can't see him. Okay. Uh, Clifford. Huzzah! <laughs> Dog. Doesn't really know what the plan is, so I think he is going to look at Adelin mm -hmm. a little inquiringly and hold his action. Okay. Um, and it is now Adeline's go. Um, filthy from Zero War. Uh, is the shouting very audible by now? I think he's getting more and more audible, yes. And particularly if Polly comes back and goes, oh my god! Um, yes, I will actually absolutely have been like, there are three of them, and also I don't see the guy that you choked out. Uh, uh, there. Um, oh, good question. Mm -hmm. um, did my favourite foe like, wink out when Terry went splash? Yes. <laughs> ah. <That> was... <laughs> Wait, he's dead? Yeah. He's dead! I don't think Terry made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he's dead. He and was... also, he was the guy. Yeah. I guess Terry was the assassin. Terry was the assassin. What a pathetic oh. little device. Wow. This that is, is big... underwhelming. <laughs> yes. All right, job done, guys. Let's go home. That's what he deserves. <laughs> it's so okay. Exactly. Justice has been done. Yeah. Um, like wow, to leave, to I guess. Like a but like, to have a massive, ma like, major assassination and then be like, great, you're on watch. <laughs> It's your return on the rota yeah. for a sentry duty. That's just that's uh, very sad. Yeah. <laughs> um, how far back down the tunnel are we? We're like 20, 30 feet. Yeah, twenty, thirty feet. Twenty feet. Twenty feet back. Mm, yeah. So yeah, if you want to put yourself on that. Yeah. Level, where do so you, you want move. to be? We can just we can move. I know um, you like the elevators, but yeah. it's not very. Good. <laughs> oh god, I should. Are you dead? So Polly is five feet back. One, two, three, four. So Adeline would start. Uh, uh, sorry, not Asher. Uh, Clifford is directly behind. Adeline cool. looking at him imploringly. Aww. Will we all be on the same site since we were just pulling you up? Yes. Cool. Look at this little conga line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I kind of like start to like slink my way up to the front, make eye contact with Polly, and hear as we hear the noise, and I'm, I'm kind of like, are we going loud? <laughs> well, I'm definitely not making this quiet anymore. Okay. Shrugs, okay. Uh, gets the new, new repeat and crossbow out. Oh, wait, <laughs> just oh it's real ball. squeaky turn, let's be careful. Oh, wait, what oh, was, is it if they move, they take damage? Yes. Cool. If they move, mm. not if they voluntarily move, so you can't drag them about however you sort of are. <laughs> oh, I've got things for dragging people about. Yeah. Uh, I think Adeline is going to go three forward to there and look out over the okay. cistern that. You need to be one forward to see those two. Oh, is it kind of this where the balcony is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can see him from yep. there, but you can't see the other two. Sweet. Uh, his held action is going to kick in at this point, though, because he can see you. Whoops. Okay. And he's going to fire. I'm class 16. 16. Thank you for taking this bullet for us. Uh, that's a miss. Did I not give you good berries to heal up? Oh, you did. Apologies. Uh, you also could have taken a short rest. We all did. It's true. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm damage. presuming you're on full health. <laughs> yes. I took seven damage from the poison trap earlier in the day. Cool. So I would be at full health. I'm at full health. Sweet. Um, let's play the hits. Uh, bonus <laughs> action, Zephyr Strike. Very good. Um, and uh, I'm going to take two shots at your man over there. Okay, yeah, go for it. Is this another bloody Kraken? Visibly? Looks like it. Uh, 
looks like it. Yeah. Clothing, tattoos. Yeah, very similar. Cool. All right. Well. Da. I mean, first blood was Terry, so. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he's dead. Uh, I'm going to make the first attack with the advantage from Zephyr Strike. Sweet. Actually, let's go big. Um, dirty 20. Yes. Cool. Uh, oh, shit, I want damage dice prepared. Apologies. Uh, I'm going to spend my second favourite foe to kind of like trigger it for this fight now. So... Um, I'm gonna do some favorite four damage to this guy. Okay. And it's my light, light repeating crossbow. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, do you need damage broken down at all? No. Uh, sixteen damage. Okay. With the first shot. Okay. Um, second one. 14 to hit. 14 will hit. Hey! Ooh. Okay. I'm just going to double check favorite fours only once per turn. Each time you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you deal favorite four damage. So. Uh, oh, max damage! Um, on both, uh, 18. That is definitely enough. Points of piercing. Yeah, that is definitely enough as you watch this guy fall to the bottom. Point. Just pop up. Thwip, thwip. Yep. Oh, the mechanism on this is so much nicer. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Thank and you, Larry. Else. Uh, one, two, three. Scores of movement. I've got another, like, nine. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we're going to run out <sighs> one. Can I, with a bit of a run up, just, like, jump across the channel? Yeah, I'm comfortable. That's within your ability. One, two, three, four. Going to so run it. Still on your level? Yes. Okay, you've now stepped into their eye line, so their held actions are going to come into play. Shit. And they're going to fire at you. Okay. Um, Sorry, they're both going to die. On class 16. One hit. One hit, okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Die. Oh, Clifford was giving you advantage. Uh, three points. Clifford hasn't given you an advantage. Oh, no. uh, three points of uh, damage, piercing damage. Three points of piercing. Okay. Three. Go with that. These like crossbows or short bows? Or? Uh, this is a crossbow. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Thunk. Ow. So there's a thunk thunk, but one smashes off the stonework behind you, and the other one smashes mm. into your shoulder. Cool. And at this vantage point, you're going to be able to see a bit more. Do I see Terry's body floating to the surface? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> at least. Not yet. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, sick. Wonderful. Funky. What? Our... I can I make Ficker up? Yeah, so I'm going to uh, very easily tell you that this person is mm. in place of this miniature because I can't put his mini on the board. Is it Tezin? It's Tezin. Tezin! This is Tezin? Yeah. You bastard man. We found you again. Oh, fuck. Like, lock eyes oh, with him across so the chamber. there's so many of them. There's a lot of them. Um, out of curiosity, did any of them round the corners during this, co like, after I cast you wouldn't Spike Growth? No, not for me. For if they were out of sight when I cast Spike Growth, oh, then they'd well, have to make the thing out. Okay, sweet. Look at this person. Uh, this so, well. uh, oh, I'm trying to think whether or not you're getting a clear shot on this person. You are two floors up. Look at that line. It's yeah, gorgeous. I don't think you've got enough detail on this to get anything clear other than there are people back people here. People back here. Yeah. Okay. So, is this all about? It's like ten feet high. Did you say? Yeah. This whole kind of section yeah. right here. So it's quite difficult to see down. Oh, they're there. so cool. Probably can't see it, yeah. Okay, sweet. Okay. There's just movement at the back. Yes. Alex, okay. have I mentioned that you're really good at painting minis before? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the majority of the ones on the board, actually, I did not paint. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, um, first one. Yeah. Yeah, so I painted these two. I, I love the little and that kind of transparent and that one, yeah. um, orbiness. I so cool. didn't paint these mm. three. But you did do the orb. I yeah. did do the old. Oh, yeah. Very cool. 
to I like the orb, yeah. Orb. Uh, and at this point, Clifford's held action is going to pop in. Oh. Well. Uh, Clifford is actually going to teleport to Alvin. Cool. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of like calling back to the people in the tunnel, like how many targets I can see. Yep. Like I see four. I think there's more. Yep. Uh, <laughs> oh, Clifford! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Anything else, Evelyn? Because I think that's action, bonus action. You've got movement if you want it then? Yeah, I've got three more squares, so I'll one, two, three, fall back into the tunnel. Does that kind of break line of sight against all but maybe this one? I think it breaks line of sight on all of them. Great, mm. perfect. Shell's back in the. lips work. Yeah, yeah and just like <laughs> snap across, wobble up the shoulder. <laughs> I love the strategy. Oh, it's like, okay, uh, cool. Uh, it is then our show's go. Okay. Let's see what you can do in a fight! Yeah. Come on, Arshu! Yeah. Let's see what you can do in a fight. The only thing is that if it, it might be worth it to try and get around to the other sides when we're spread out, mm. because mm -hmm. we're like an area of effect would absolutely destroy us. It would. Um. Well, you can think about that to be on the next one. Mm. Oh, we're going to be thinking about it. Sometimes I think that we should just be my messaging each other privately, so I don't need to say things out loud to Alex. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Urshul, that's maybe spiky? I don't know. He's not on that level. Okay. He's still, yeah, he's, like two floors up. He's 20 feet oh, up. Oh, 24 feet up is fine uh, then, yeah. Gonna, so, so that's 40. It would be maybe spiky right here. <laughs> Is that the only one? Like, yeah. like, like one here. spike <laughs> because, at the very yeah. 20 feet like, apex of the zone. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to spend a key point to dash. <gasps> a monk! He's a monk! He's a monk. Yes. What? The dash is a bonus action. Oh, sure. You're going to die. So that is, <laughs> that is going to drop so him onto this that. floor because that would have been. Is that a ground floor? That's ground floor. Okay, yeah. so he's on ground floor. So that would have been. spiky. He's aware of that. And he's going to drop into it anyway because he can't do anything from that far out. Okay. Can he do Can he jump from the ladder to a uh, a patch? Uh, he's still got twenty feet of movement, so he's still going to go for it. Oh my god! Oh. Um, Dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think he has anything that allows him to get through difficult terrain. Remember where everyone is. I need to pick up the orange circle. <laughs> ah! Don't. <laughs> Well, hang on a minute. Why are we picking up the orange circle? I want to measure something. Can you measure it without the orange circle? It's in a very good position. I like the minis where they all are, please. I can try. I can just, I can just count. It's fine. Oh, this is, no. Will's got a good idea. Go on. I don't... Sorry, carry on, Alex. Carry on. He's just drawing where the circle is. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, if yeah, Ash is going to continue to move into the spike area. So does he take damage as this happens? If he's moving, then yes. Yeah, he's going to take damage. This is going to suck. I didn't want to be the first damage dealt with this thing to be on an ally. I feel bad now. Okay. How far is he moving in it? Yeah, he moved he another ten feet. Yes. Okay. Yep. Do I only have three That's where I want to Right. I, I just wanted to know what a 10 foot radius was. A 10 foot radius? Yeah. Uh, I think it was four. It's like two squares out from a point. Yeah. That's so such good just, damage. That's all I wanted to know. 13. 13. Yeah. Against our show. Okay. E. That's an annoying amount of damage, but okay. Well. I'm not convinced of our show's decision making skills. First he wanted to come. I warned him. Then he jumped into the spikes. He can't do anything from range. Well, I mean he's a monk. He can't like, run walls and shit. Is this where you tell us he's like a level three monk? Uh, thirteen, you said. Oh my god, I thought you meant he was level three. <laughs> yes, thirteen damage. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay, he's so okay. Cool. Uh, and he's then going to What's start he? hitting this person. Is he on the ground floor? He is on the ground floor. Yeah, yeah Arshaw, what? He was, this is what he the ran fuck? along, yeah. he took a dash, he went down the ladder. This is quite funny because like we literally just left Tedden like a couple of hours ago and now like he ran away from us and we're already back. This is the third time we've rocked up in the sun in like two days. 
So funny. I think Tezan's had a short rest, yeah, since you all like, okay, I can get those three. drowned and beat him senseless. Oh, that's two misses from Arsha. Uh, again. Well. Oh, Arsha, dog! Oh. weird end, yeah. Okay. Um, and that's the end of his turn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How far? I'm trying to. We're at angles, so it's like, what, 60 feet in a triangle? <laughs> yeah. If I'm two floors above, how far is a 60 feet point? Carry on. I'm uh, in D&D, feet. we take the longest mm-hmm. point. The longest. Yeah, if it's a triangle, what's that? Well, we don't do oh. diagonal. We don't, we don't do Pythagoras. It's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You're within 60 feet of all. Yeah. 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 You just need a line of sight. You just need a line of sight. All right, cool. One, two, okay. three, Thanks. four, five, six, seven. Okay. Eight, eight. So uh, yeah. that's the end of Ursho's go, um, and it is now the bandit's go. Um, okay, these two had held actions. Yeah, but th- they used that. Uh, yeah, but yeah. they're resetting. But it's their turn, so they. Okay. It's now their action. Oh, okay, right, right. Um, so Bad times. This guy is going to fire at Clifford. Oh, not a dog. He's oh, already been through so much. much. Uh, um, that's gonna miss. That's fine. Good. Uh, the guy in front of Ursho is going to drop his crossbow and draw swords. So frustrated by Ursho because we could have just split up and took him for a shot. Plus. And like, like they were such a, like, this is so, mm. going to be so difficult. Just one fucking ladder for them to get up. And now he's going to just get wailed on. That's well, we'll just have to kill them all first. Silly dragonborn. That's another, that's a miss on Ursho. Oh, good. Oh um, my gosh. And the last bandit is going to draw a sword. Move. So they're in the thing. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. So they take damage. Okay. That was 15 feet? Yeah. Uh, that's uh, an undifficult terrain. That's probably the full move. Yes. Um, whew, that's really good. That's uh, 15. And then I get another two. Ooh, okay. Oh my god. That's really good. Uh, 22 points. Ouch! That, that is enough to take them out. Holy shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Nice. laughs> this one did yeah, good. Yeah, well. Take that off the board. <laughs> Christ, okay, they did not make it to her show. so funny. You killed them with, like, 6d4. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, well, this spell is paying for itself. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, mm. cool. Um, that's the bandit's turn. They're dead. Ooh, it's now this individual. Is it the cool new individual? No. Is it Tezan? It's that one, yeah. But oh, this one? Ooh! This guy is just within it's the spike the groove? Ones. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's none of you can see him so though. Far. Um... I mean, you can still no. move them on the map and stuff. I can, Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think anybody yeah. can, because um, it was oh, when... Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kai, what do you want to do? What up? Oh god. So we just don't know. But they uh, don't move? No, you can't see. see. So they probably... Cool. Adam would have been able to see see them when he was out there. Yes, if they were very briefly. Cool, I'm going to be here so oh, I can yeah. see shit. Yeah. I have all my hit points. <laughs> I still could worry oh, about fine. you. No, hit them hard. And then, oh, people moved. So now where's my circle gone? Well, have you got a 10 foot radius? Two, three, so. I don't think I can get all three of them. Uh, Depends if the DM allows you to put it in the square, because that's 10 feet, and that's 10 feet, and that's 10 feet. Yeah, yeah. put it in the that's middle? usually how it works, yeah. Okay, so I can put a spell there and then get all three of them? Yeah. Okay, cool. I will cast Shatter. Hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Uh, Con save from all of them. Okay. Yeah, DC 16. 16. Awesome. So we'll do the two bandits and first. That is something creepy. 16, you say? Um, um, mm-hmm. Con save. We've got one success, one fail. Fail on uh, archery person, which is technically bandit number three. Bandit number one is the one with the swords out. Bandit number three mm. is red caped archery person. Cool. Mm-hmm. Bandit number two was the dead tiefling? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well me. done on your maths. Got and the other person succeeds. Okay, so that is 14 thunder damage or seven if they succeeded. Okay. Nice. So one fail. No. no, one succeeded, three failed. So 14 if they failed, yeah? Mm. Yes. Yeah, cool. Can you push them around as well? I'm going to push one of them. Um, I will push the one that's next to our show. Uh, push them back. Ten feet away from me, I believe it's away from me. Yeah, so they're yeah. going to go mm. straight back. Cool. Boop, boop. So how much damage do they take from moving? Uh, there's two. Uh, two, two squares. squares. Yes. Okay. Christ, maths. Um, 
um, 12. Huh? They take a further 12 piercing damage? Yes. This one. That one's <laughs> another 12. Okay, yeah, that's As you just shred them along the carpet. <laughs> Guys, I think that's I'm getting a hang of this cool shit. Yeah, oh my god, oh okay. my gosh. That's brutal, I love it, excellent. Okay. On one level, we're like really kind of happy and wholesome as a team. And then as the next, a team, we're lovely, and then we're to like, everyone we're else. Drowning like, people, absolutely horrific. sandpapering them across the floor. We're cute and fun, um, but also if you think about it in any level. Mm. I mean, we've done this before whenever I've like... Yeah, who's looking worse, this one or that one? Yeah. Oh, definitely the front. Yeah. Identical. Identical. Cool. Whap. What was Whap. the question? Who's weaker? I was like, who's looking worse? worse. Definitely mm. that one. Yeah, I, I think one. these are going to be the big And that is, where's my character sheet? <laughs> um, so I make an attack? Yes. 17 plus stuff to yeah. hit it. Cool. And that is an, another d8. Um, three cold damage. Okay. And its speed is reduced. Okay. Awesome. Mm, and that is me. I've used all of my everything. All of your everything. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, Polly. So, what you doing? Um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, when I peeked up over here to cast by Crope, Yeah. And you said that this was a lower level. Is there access this direction or is it just a full circle kind of here? on the level that we are. Full circle. Okay. So like the solid wall above it. So like this part here is is kind of barricaded off. Yeah. Okay, that's mm. good to know. Thank you. Um I am going to Wait, there's a wall? Yes. Oh mm. that's really interesting. Oh, okay. Uh like it's like um It's like it was cylindrical. Like a wall. No, not in that sense. Oh. No. In what sense then? Um so the outer black circular wall mm -hmm. that goes up two stories mm -hmm. to where you are and it goes a story above you as well mm -hmm. actually to be honest. Are there any tunnels above us? Um or are we like the uppermost set of tunnels? I think you're the uppermost set of yeah. tunnels, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the tunnels on our level go call it north and south. And then the tunnels on the level below go east and west with the same kind of fifteen foot width. Mm -hmm. And then on the bottom floor it's east and west again. Sorry, north and south again. And there's this area over here. Which is also open 10 feet high? Yes. Is that all right? Yes. Cool. What are um, we doing, Polly? Um, I think I am going to um, open my bag of bees mm -hmm. as an action. And then I'm going to move, and I think, one, two, three, four, sorry, it was different. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I think I'm going to move to, like, here with a dash. Okay. Which I can do, actually, because it, it would be around, so I would be over here. So okay. I think I would mm -hmm. still be on sight of some people, perhaps. Which I can do because I have a cool druid ability called Bumblebee Rush. Uh -huh. Oh. So I, I, can, I can rush on over there. Um... Uh, taking a dash as a bonus action, and it also means that it's going to be a little bit trickier for people to target me until the start of my next round. What does that mean? Disadvantage. Okay, cool. Not that they know that. Anything else? Um, no, that was everything. I did movement, bonus action, action. That's that's the whole also thing. Cool. Uh, I guess free a free action. Arjo, you doing good? <laughs> he glanced back up at you. Yeah. Sweet. Excellent. Don't die. Okay. Uh, uh, he's not seen us fight before. Yeah, I don't think he's seen us fight yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've never seen him fight sure. before either. That's true, yeah. Mm. After your turn, it's his turn. Okay. His. Uh, I think Just Kai hit. is the only one that can see this. Ooh, what do I see? Uh, you can see uh, Tezin cast a spell. <sighs> uh, do you don't have do that. anything? Any reactions for that that you want to do or anything? No, no, it's cool. Uh, I don't have a dispel magic or counter spell or anything mm -hmm. yet. Yeah, for lonely okay. second levels. Cool. Go silver bombs. Uh, he is going to cast dispel magic and get rid of the spike growth. Oh, oh you bastard! 
rub all the green dots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't leave it. Maybe I'll cast it again. <laughs> <laughs> In the exact same spot. That would be really fucking funny. Mm. Um, Damn it. Good. I mean, that's that's a good use no. for his turn. No. <laughs> you hate Clifford. Don't hate Clifford. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, and that is going to trigger one of the held actions. Ooh. Oh, I now bet. Now that I'm here, Somebody can I see what this person did before? before? Can I see what that yeah. was happening? Okay. Oh. You know what? Fuck you guys. What? One of, them was, one of them was probably holding an action to move into that area yeah. once the spikes were gone. Yeah. Is it the little monk? Is it going to rush? Oh. Yeah, they're going to rush Clifford. Uh, Urshel. Yeah, rude. NPC number, whatever. Cool. Um, Has this been monk done anything? Not that I want more NPCs attacking us. Uh, so they're kind of like on the floor behind the bar. That, yeah, that, that bit yeah, that yeah. I've drawn out mm. there. Yeah, that's kind of like a bar. So they're quite low, so it's quite hard for you to see them actually okay. at this point. Um, okay, so that was that turn, uh, and it's now Clifford's turn. Oh, I agree. Oh, oh that's, uh, so Clifford is 20 foot up, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He can do that. He's going to bounce to there. Good boy! And go on against this person and try and attack them. No, 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 no. Bite. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That's <laughs> good. I just hit my foot. Bite. Ah, the bite was so mm. harsh. Yes. He got me. Uh, that's going to hit? Yeah. Shit. <sighs> what, are you, what are you looking at that's so stressful? He's really, he's really pissed me off, and I'm just trying to make sure that I don't misunderstand something before I pull the trigger. Sweet Jesus! <laughs> okay, yeah, that's enough to have to take out that mm-hmm. bandit. Oh. Yeah. That's mm. Interesting. Normal. I mean, it, I just... Good boy, Clifford. Let me just have a little read. It's a good one. It's a good mm. one. Okay. Uh, so that was Clifford's turn. It's now Adeline. Yeah, we've we know that Tezin's here now, right? Um, Did I? Yeah. yeah. I think both you and Kai and Polly have seen them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. See him. Yeah. Cool. Who's taking damage? Is it just Clifford and Ersho? Is it just Ersho? Uh, just Ersho. Just Ersho. Um, Clifford mm-hmm. was missed. Okay. Um. Okay, Just continue, Adeline. Carry on. Um, I'm just thinking some thoughts. Thinking some thoughts? Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> One, two, three. What we're doing, Adeline? <laughs> uh, probably something kind of stupid. Then do it. Love that. Um, I want to... How, how amenable are you to me using actions in midair? Ooh. If you can provide yourself stability in midair, go for it. Massive. All right. Uh, how are you providing yourself stability in midair? I'm going to trigger the Asimar transformation. Okay. But I want to be within 15 feet of these two to give them temporary hit points. Yeah. And the best way to do that is to do it midair. Hmm? Yeah. Falling and then just laying your wings out. Yeah. That's so, awesome. It's awesome. like reaction casting better ball, but... Way more epic. Way more epic. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think it might hurt you a little bit as your wings flare out and stop this sudden free fall, but I doubt. I don't think there's any like consequences. It's gonna. Tr- we're gonna try and swoop in. You're gonna be sore tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Your back muscles. Are gonna yeah. <laughs> oh my back. Well, you just back time time. These spectral wings are such a oh, pain. <laughs> um. Hi. Yeah, Adeline's gonna Hi. lower the crossbow. Kind of like one hand on the rapier at his side. Mm. Okay, okay, right. Big running jump. Two, three, out to here. Um, actually, God, can I jump far enough to get that? Uh, your long jump, uh, which is what you're two, attempting to do, is you have to move 10 feet and then jump a number of feet equal to your strength score. What's your strength score? Uh, 14. So I think it rounds so down. Five ten and then five ten. So you can jump 
You go 10 feet off yeah. an edge. Mm -hmm. And then start to drop. Can I go, can I hop that, yeah. go out here, and then drop, and then plummet, and then drop? Yeah. That's one, two, three, that's 15 feet to Clifford yeah, in our right show. Yeah. So, just kind of like dives off the side. Mm -hmm. um, Does our show know you have wings? No. <laughs> no, no we, until he turns around, he won't. Specifically, did not tell our show that Adeline could do this. Um, <laughs> so, he's, yeah, gonna dive off the side. Um, as my transformation, wings come out, eyes and hair like light up, um, swoops in for a nice big graceful landing, right there, that's 30 feet, uh, I am going to try and stab this fella as I come in for a landing. Go for it. Um, with advantage from Zephyr Strike, um, that's a dirty 20. Yes. Well, and I'm going to transfer my favourite foe to them. Ooh, that's terrible. Uh, 10 damage, okay. some of which is force, most of which is piercing. You just transferred your favourite foe to them, didn't you? Yes. Okay, so you get to know about damage immunities, don't you? Yes. Okay, they are immune to poison, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical weapons. Uh, they're immune to BPS from non-magical weapons. In which case, none of the piercing damage I just did to them does anything. Because it's my... Do you not have that magic weapon, Yeah, I have the longsword, but... Yeah. He's using his rapier. I'm better with my rapier. Oh. Because, does this just look like a regular person? Yep. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. So, uh... Shit. Um, Did any of that take this? Yes, there was four points of force damage in there four that they will take. And I think as he kind of like hits the ground, runs his sword through them, and sees that it does basically nothing to them, <laughs> panics a little bit. Okay. Mm. Um, you, what else do you get from Favoured Foe, sorry? Just damage types. Just damage immunities. Yeah, so immune to non-magical BPS and poison. Poison, yeah. That's a trait that's usually assigned to fiends. Um, mm. Well, we already fought once. That does make a lot of sense. And there was a tiefling that we mm -hmm. killed as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was the tiefling a tiefling? The tiefling mini? Sure. <laughs> cool. Clearly Generic important. bandit. <laughs> important, important information. Uh, okay. I think... Um, oh, shit. That didn't work. Um, he's going to leave the sword th like in them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stabs it into them. Sees it doesn't do anything. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and then he's going to... Since he's used Zephyr Strike, he gets a bit more movement, pivot around the back of them. Oh, yeah, that's good. Nice. Draw uh, Commander Helen's long sword and take a swing with that. Yeah, sure, that would flash at Tezen and be like, remember this? Yeah. See <laughs> yeah. Tezen and go, oh shit, it's you again. Um, yeah, advantage from flanking? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I should have provided flanking. Nice. Um, I don't know this modifier off by heart yet, but with. Uh, it's 17. Yes. Swell. So this is a magical one. This is a magical longsword. Okay. Yes. Cool. Um, the commander of the guard's magical longsword. I imagine it's somewhat ornate. Mm. Yeah, it's quite nice. Four. Uh, ten points of magical slashing. Okay. As I shout at this thing, like, does this like is this just a regular looking guy? Yeah. He looks very fancy. Very fancy. Very fancy. Very well dressed. Really nice, like coat that sort of slung across his shoulders and stuff mm. like that. Quite ornate armor and things like that. Lots of like jeweled weapons and things like that on him. Wow, impressive. Still shouting like, "What are you? <laughs> what are you? Wow." Okay, is that the end of your turn? Yes, thank you. Mm. Okay, it's Arsho's go, and he is going to go for a punch, punch. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. The uh, temporary hit points. Uh, Ursula and Clifford would have um, nice. maximum temporary hit points from this. Which is. Mm, they get. Uh, more than six. What level are we? Seven. Mm -hmm. 13. Uh, we all get 13 mm -hmm. temporary hit points. Okay. I've got Clifford and Ursula here, so if you keep track of your own. Got me that. Awesome. Um, cool. Yeah, Ursula uh, hits with one of his attacks. Nice. Um, just checking. Okay. Uh, oh. 
Yeah. Starting strike, my man. Do it. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, we just before this session started, Alice was complaining about how much she hates monks. <laughs> and look and what she did. Monk. Yeah. Look mm. what she did. I know. I did this to myself. I'm well aware. Yeah. Oh. Uh, mm. Are attacks considered? Okay, I have I have a couple of options. Maybe whilst uh, Alice is doing yeah. things, we can help you out. Okay, so that's fine. Mm. This guy. Yeah. Although there's a little bit of ambiguity about. Okay. Uh, they're all dead. Okay, so, ooh, being okay, so we're at the top of the round. round. It can be bigger. Okay, okay so I will pull you back package. for attention, um, please. As it is now his go. Okay. Who's so, it? Uh, his. Oh. Okay. Oh dear. Is he bandit initiative? Is it? No, he has his own initiative. Oh. Okay. Cool. Um, Okay, yeah, he'd slowly turn to you, Adeline, grinning, and he's going to use his object interaction to yank out your sword and toss it to one side. Mm. And grin at you. My favourite rapier. One of the things that what you, you do that is just so ominous is that when you want to really emphasise somebody's evilness, you say that they just grin. <laughs> they just grin. <laughs> Very intimidating. Um, and you say, well, <gasps> look what new friends we all have here. Oh. Um, and you see he'd cast a hand out towards the water for a moment. And then he'd turn back to you and you'd see his shape begin to change and shift. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> and you'd see no. like his, his entire face would change and things like that as scales would erupt over him and things like this. And you'd Whoa. see this more crocodilian feet creature oh. in front of you very dope and staring at you mm. and snarling gross uh and those that can see the water <laughs> would it see that it would begin to churn oh no uh -oh. as three crocodiles would appear <gasps> Crocodiles. Um, well, that's oh. fine because they can't go on land. The water. They're just like, yeah, we just have like a well-known fact. Yeah. Crocodiles mm. and octopi can't go on land. Yep. Well, they definitely can't climb ladders. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. How, how far above the water level are we at this point? I mean, um, the water level is basically at floor level. Oh, there. Wow. There's no lip there uh, on the ground floor. Mm. Um, Polly is still on the third floor. Second. second. You're on the second floor. There are only two. There oh yeah, sorry. You're on the second floor. You're on the second floor? Mm -hmm. Cool. So, yeah. You're not in massive danger, but there are now three crocodiles. Wonderful. Oh no. Wonderful. Uh, and it's now Kai's go. Mm -hmm. As you see this mm. okay. crocodilian creature mm. transform in front of you, and these three crocodiles rear yeah. out of the water. Do it like around you. This changes my plans. I hate these slightly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe. Mm. But we also hate crocodiles. Mm. Mm. If I did this, I don't know how But what are we going to do? Give me two seconds to, to just... That's true. Mm. But I'll see you on my face. Nothing. Mm. What can you do? Mm. 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 I think I'll stick with what I was going to do before. Okay, what okay. we doing? I'm going to do a mind whip on Tyson. Oh, okay, sweet. go for it. Can he do an intelligence save, please? Great spell. Mind whip so good. What well, am I trying to do? 16. Or, uh, if he fails, again. if I stay out of sight then. And he yeah. actually fails, he's not using a legendary um, resistance or something. Wait, nope, I, he I fails. Oh, okay. <laughs> One, two, uh, three. Do have, like, concentration yeah, options. Okay. Mm. Um, six psychic damage. Okay. And he can't take any up. reactions. Okay. And on his turn, he has to choose between doing an action, a bonus action, or moving. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Okay. And then I will move yeah. tentacles. I'll pop it here. Yeah, it can wiggle on top of the table. <laughs> okay. Go for it. And does the tentacle do magical damage? Presumably, because oh. it's a magical tentacle. Mm. I don't know. I, I don't. It's mundane. It doesn't specify, but I assume my magic yeah. tentacle does magic damage. It's like asking, you know, does if it's a class feature, like does a paladin's yeah. divine smite do magical damage? Yeah, like it's a does warlock a... thing. Um. Mm. I have an idea. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
We've also been on for two and a half hours, just in case you're scheduled a break soon. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Where is where? Uh, okay, what we do with Isla? I did the tentacle thing. Yes. Yes. Uh, 20... Yes. 2 to hit. Um, is it magical damage? I don't know. I'm trying to see what spiritual weapon does. Spiritual weapon is definitely magical because it's a spell. No, no. It's also force damage. From, spir- force from spiritual damage, weapon. Yeah. Um, is the tentacle um, bludgeoning? I think cold. Cold. I think so it's kill. even if you, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seven damage seven to the crocodile damage. and reduce speed to the um, reduce by ten feet. To crocodile to person. To Mr. Yeah, crocodile. To, to the guy. To Mr. Crocodile. Mr. Crocodile. Mm-hmm. And reduced speed by ten foot. Yeah. Yep. And I'm gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. So I'm out of line of sight. <laughs> Yeah, most okay. people. Yeah, most of mm-hmm. us. I think Arsho could see see you. Well, that's fine. I'm I'm fine with Arsho being able to see me. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. That's um, me. Polly. I. I'm going to be pissed off that he cast Wall of Fire. No, he he, he dispelled my thing me, so I'm gonna cast Wall of Fire. Okay, cool. Um and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cast <laughs> it, I think, as a circle. Ooh. Um, with the heat facing out the way around you guys. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty dope. Can you read me the wording of the spell, please? Yes. Um so the first thing is um uh, you can make the wall a ringed wall up to 20 feet in diameter, 20 feet high, one foot thick. Um, oh, 20 feet high. Did we see a peep at the bottom as well? No. no maybe just um, hit the ceiling, I'm afraid. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, one side of the wall selected by you when you cast the spell deals 5d8 fire damage to each creature um, that ends its turn within 10 feet. So it wouldn't do anything immediately apart from maybe to the, the crocodiles, except that I don't think it's going to affect the crocodiles because I'd have to keep it like on the cusp there because it has to be on solid surface. Yeah. Um, so, so... Well, mm, okay, so if it's, if it's the wall of fire, it's got to pass through a square each, right? One, it's one foot thick, but it's got to pass through squares. So if mm. you're passing it not through the water, it's got to pass through the square that Clifford has stood in. Okay, maybe can I, um, he's after me, and he's pretty well behaved. Okay, Tezin's after me as well. Yes. Could I hold it? Could I yell at Clifford to, to move? Um, hold it until after Clifford's turn? Yeah. Before Tezin. You speak Celestial, right? Yeah, I could yeah. just be like, crocodiles, bad water, get away, that kind of thing. Or like go see Adeline would maybe be a slightly faster, succinct way of saying it. Okay. Um, go see Adeline. Um, go help him. And and then that would mean that he was here, and that would mean that I could get it across there, and that would be fine. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll give you that. You don't have to pass it through a show square at all. I appreciate that. Much, muchly. You're probably gonna have to set the bar on fire, but I'm not really sure that's within your concern, is it? <gasps> no, that changes no. everything. No. Actually, okay, so it's we're holding our action to cast a spell. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Uh, anything else on your turn? Um. No. Uh, you're kind of close to me. Maybe uh, I would, I would scoot, but I don't want to be even more visible. So no, I'm just going to stick where I am. I free action hunker. <laughs> Brace. <laughs> okay, cool. Where is the fire? Oh no, you've not done it. Not yet. No, I'll wait until Clifford doesn't get burnt to a pulp. Okay, so the crocodiles are going to take That's the time. Right. Oh, because the crocodiles are next. Bastard. Oh, no. Well, this changes some things. That's fine. The okay, crocodiles yeah, the... are faster than Tevin. <laughs> they got a better initiative than Tessa. Uh, so the one that's next to Clifford, C3, I think that is, mm-hmm. is going to take a bite attack against Clifford. Um, and is going to miss. Huzzah! Well, this is yeah, actually yeah. highly convenient because if I didn't tell Clifford he'll probably move, move. he no. still will move. <laughs> this one is going to climb up out of the water. Go here. Excellent. Perfect. And mm-hmm. go a norm on Ursho. Nice. Try and bite his scales. That's a hit. Oh. <laughs> Miss. Oh. Okay, that's not 
Oh, well done. Uh, but yes, to me. The scales work. <laughs> a, a check for that. He's still got his temporary hit points. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so Ursho's going to have to make a grapple check. He's a monkey. He can. Oh, and he fails. Oh, can I give him my inspiration to try again? Uh, yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I don't want him to be grappled. Okay, cool. Are you not about to put a wall of fire through this crocodile? Well, I'd be really worried. Would it mean that he would be sharing the space of the? He's not sharing. He doesn't share the space. No. Okay. Well, then maybe I don't need to. You might drag him away on this turn. Is the only thing. Yeah, I think I would rather just in case. Um, I have two, so that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's succeed. Okay. Woohoo! That's fine. Cool. So he is not grappled. Mm. Uh, the last crocodile. Did the damage come up for temporary hit points? Yes, so he still has temporary hit okay. points. Okay, so he's Wonderful. lovely. Yes. Uh, he's going to move to here. And it's going to go for Clifford. Clifford! This dog. He's a hero. That's a hit. Okay. It's fine. So it's totally fine. He's going to take. Mm. Okay. Uh, Piddling damage. Piddling damage still mm-hmm. has temporary hit points and needs to do a grapple check. Okay. Okay, come on, Clifford. Uh, ah, what's Clifford's If thing? he's a very clever boy, on his turn, he might be able to teleport out of the grapple. Oh, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> he's, he if, succeeds. He, if, he's, if he's fine. Being able to teleport out of a baby Bjorn, he can teleport out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Swaddling, just grappling. Another kind of same. grapple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's all the crocodile's turns. Gosh, so it's so not peasant. Grapples for mm-hmm. infants. Oh, I thought. Okay, never mind. Hmm? I got the initiative order wrong in my head. Oh, okay. I thought Clifford went before Tezen. No, Tezen goes yeah. before Clifford. Uh, yep. Why doesn't hmm. Tezen move up about 15 feet and then. Yeah, why doesn't he? Well, he doesn't know where I got in my brain. No, no, he doesn't, <laughs> he, he doesn't know that. But he also knows that he doesn't want to be anywhere near any of you. I could so. relate, that's very fair. <laughs> Do you not want to be near us either? I would like to leave, personally. <laughs> Is he going to move or take an action or a bonus action? Oh, yeah, you mind whipped him! <laughs> yes! He needs to pick. That was a very good spell. Oh, yes. Nicely done. I mean, if I was an angry mage and I'd been mind whipped, I'd probably fire a ball. <laughs> he is You're going to well disappear. Down. No! Oh, come on! Absolute bastard man! <laughs> You're an absolute coward. <laughs> he is an absolute coward. Jesus Christ. You know we're going to see you again in like four hours. <laughs> One of these days, somebody's going to know counterspell and somebody's going to stop that. The time between us meeting him is gradually decreasing. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's now Clifford's turn. He's going to so try and run away. No, Clifford is going to be smarter. Good He's boy, Clifford. Teleport. Yay. So he doesn't take attacks of opportunity. Clever boy. Yes, that's the right square for him to be in. And yes. then he's going to go, no, 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 no. Sweet. Uh, he's the crocodile. This thing. Although, I actually don't think there's any point in rolling. Clifford doesn't do magical damage yet. Ah. Uh. Yes. Ooh. Uh, so I mean, even if he hits, he can't, he can't actually do damage. As just okay. a future question, if I cast Elemental Weapon on his mouth, would that work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'd allow that. Noted. Deeply wasteful, but <laughs> noted. <laughs> Does somebody keep turning off the switch beside my charger? You do not know. I've turned that on about three times this oh, game. Try not to kick Are you playing footsie so. with my phone charger? Yeah, you've been playing for several weeks. Uh, okay, Adeline, it is your go. No, oh, no. sorry, it's your held action. I'm on to you. <laughs> I'm on to you. I've got a lot in my brain. What do you want? Um, can I get all three of the crocodiles, ideally, and and not my friends, please? I might not be able to get all if you, of them. So if you centre it on Mr. Crocodile, you should sweep us off nicely. How long is the wall able to be? It's a ten, it's ten foot radius, 20 feet in di- diameter. Or I could do a straight line, actually, I suppose, because this guy is not going to fucking move, is he? Have we seen this guy do anything? I wouldn't, well, I mean, if you want to. Do you want to do that? But it's like... Yeah. If you want to do a circle, I'd probably centre it on Mr. Crocodile. But a line... What? Why would you centre a circle on Mr. Crocodile? Then I'd get all of you guys. But you said you'd How big point is it out circle? the way. you point the hammer out the way. Yeah, it's not that big. How big it's is it? 10 feet diameter. Yeah, so it'd be like... No, 20 feet in diameter. Oh. 20 feet diameter, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's huge. So, 
Oh, that's 20 foot radius. You're thinking radius. Oh, yeah. That's it's, why. It's so 10 foot radius. Yeah. This is why I'm saying it's not very big. Yeah, so center on Mr. Crocodile, pointing it out of the way. Oh, I've been thinking you mean one of these Mr. Crocodiles. You mean literally. Oh, no, no. That's no, Mr. Crocodile. The crocodiles. That's okay. Mr. Crocodile. I'm so sorry. That was Sorry, that was, that was a bad bit of communication. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. I agree with that. Um, so you're going to cage him with us. Yeah, just, just cage him. I could maybe get two of the crocodiles. I, I don't mm. think I'd be able to get this. So I don't like, think you can get the crocodiles with the 10 foot radius if you sent it on Mr. Crocodile. Can I? How much? How far away from the wall does the damage go? It doesn't actually pass through any of the crocodiles. It doesn't have to. Oh no, it would for the first bout of damage. Oh right, okay. I'm with yeah. You. With you. Uh huh. So what do you want to do? I'm gonna stand up. Hello, don't mind me. Mm, thank you. I mean, we're kind of fucked in it already because I was looking at areas of effect, and when it comes to ten foot diameter. I don't think that Airshow actually is going to be included in it. But if I did a line, then I could. We wouldn't be futzing. I'd cut you guys off from us. Mm-hmm. But I could get the crocodiles. That could be a really good way to get rid of the crocodiles. You can get two of them, yeah. yeah. One of them's in the water still. So. But that's fine. If it stays in the water, it stays in the water. And if it tries to come you, it has to go through the, the yeah. thing at me. So you're thinking just a straight line from like that point to that point? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, technically, it'll be even longer. <laughs> We wouldn't need to worry about that. So, like, from here to here. Yeah, it's weird because I think that the spell's worded so it's supposed to be a straight line, but it never actually says. It, says, it just says a line. So I could make it all wiggly if I really wanted to. How about, like, a little L shape? Like sure, that? that'll do. So Absolutely. I would just love to get as many little critters as I possibly can. Because that would pass through. How do you draw your L's? Badly, apparently. <laughs> okay, cool. Sure, okay. So what happens? Um, they need to make me some dex saves. The crocodiles. How, yeah. how dexy are these crocodiles? Which we're about to find out. Can we touch more some d8s? So that's one and two. Oh, how many do I need? I hate it. Yeah, I will need some d8s, please. Um, okay, I got a seven this and an eleven. Dunkin'. Oh, those all fail. Okay. Thank you. I need one more, please. I lied, but um, I'll just retire this one so that you guys can all help me. Another team. Ooh, Ooh that's good. Tasty. Uh, Sorry, tasty damage. Utterly delicious. Um, I lost count. It's 13, 29. Points of damage. Yes. Fire damage. Okay, that is going to kill both of those crocodiles. Sweet. Nice. That's one and three. Is one and two. One and two. Cool. So yeah, you can just take both of those off the floor for me. Okay. Are these like real crocodiles or summoned crocodiles? Real. We eat well tonight. Or not. <laughs> no. Awesome. Okay, uh, anything else? Um, that was a held action, so no. Yeah, where the hell are we in the initiative? Uh, we just had Clifford's turn, I think that's next. No, Tez and when? Tez and vanished, yeah. And then, and then Clifford went. Then, yeah, so sorry. It's not no. So, yeah, okay, yes. so Adeline. Here is your die back. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here is your die back. Um, Does that crocodile that's within five feet of that wall do anything? It, no, it will, if it ends its turn within ten feet on that side or inside the wall, it will take some damage. And it okay. also takes damage when it enters the wall for, for, for the first time. So okay, cool. it's very much stuck on that side, unless it's an idea. Which I hope it is. Okay, cool. Um, I think we're just going to continue to wail on the crocodile man. Go for it. Yeah. D We've seen... Uh, Urshu's in the room with us, yeah. yeah. This is not a dragonborn. No, this is not a dragonborn. This is a crocodile. This is Perhaps a crocodile. Perhaps. Sweet, uh, yeah, I'm just going to wail on with Commander's Longsword. Crocodiles, whales... Whales. Uh, 18? 18 to hit? Yes, that hits. I'm going to do magical damage this time, so that's okay. Um, can I elect to do this with two hands because it's a versatile weapon? Yeah, you, you don't hold a shield, do you? So, nope. Yeah. Huzzah! <laughs> Let's trade up for a d10. Wow. Because this is a long sword, so I can get two hands the on it. The long sword is not the one that's got your ruby in it, is it? No, the ruby's in my crossbow, which is like dangling kind of okay. on my side. So you can't cast spells while you have this. Both hands on it, no. Yeah. It's fine. Or I can cast any spell that doesn't have a material component. Material which is... or somatic. Um, you've got hands. 
You haven't got a hand for each cast. Um, if, okay, if you insist. I I've had this conversation recently <laughs> with um. You can't cast a reaction spell. Okay. Uh, it's it's a really Ooh, weird nice. fifty rule. Worth yeah. it, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, you don't need it broken down, do you? Uh, so long as it's none of the things I listed before. Uh, twenty damage. Twenty damage. Awesome. And we're gonna hit him again. Yay! Uh, he is going to take a reaction first. No. Okay. Uh, and he is going to bite you. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's interesting. It's a mess of knowledge, but I was I, I know there's creatures that are like when you're at first time it happens. You don't know that, time. It's your uh, sixteen. Away. I think mm. so. That's maybe promising. Mm. Oh no, no, or that's a hit. Yeah, that's a Can hit. Can we see through your wall of fire? That's a really good question. It? It's a hit. Yes, on a nineteen. I would like to see. Uh, yep. Can you make me a um? So we couldn't try and grapple you as part of this. It's all a big crocodile jaws. Yeah, as he okay. numbs down onto you and sinks his teeth into your shoulders. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you're making uh, athletics or acrobatics against a DC of 16, please. Eight or higher. Six. Fourteen. Failure. You failed. So you are now grappled and restrained. Well, Am I restrained as well? Yes. Um, this guy has like huge teeth. Yeah. Huge jaws. Yes. And you didn't take a bit of damage. Okay. Ooh, ouch. Uh, you're going to take 14 points of piercing damage from us. Five items for a hit point. Jesus Christ. Um, do you have the restraint condition on the back of your screen there? I do, yes. Do the restraint I... condition becomes zero and it can't benefit from any bonuses to its speed. I'm going to need you to make a concentration check for Zephyr. Um, oh, yes, of attack rolls against the creature have advantage and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Dot, dot. Uh, the creature has a disadvantage on any dexterity saving throws. Okay, constitution. Uh, I lose Zephyr Strike. Okay. Um, but that's okay because I already spent it on this turn, effectively. Um, so you can still make another attack, but it's at disadvantage, but that cancels out with the. Um, uh, with the. Grapple, restrain, yeah. yes. The flanking gives you advantage. Yes. So. Um, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck it. Roll one die. Please. Roll one die. <laughs> Can I borrow your spot? Uh, <laughs> not three. No. Not gonna do it. No. No. Cool. Can I use my interaction to like take one hand off the grip of my longsword? So, um, so it's free for spells. Yeah, maybe. yeah. I'm not gonna make you use your object interaction for that. It's it's your choice to do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, I cannot move away. No, your speed is zero. I currently. haven't. Spent my bonus action yet, but I didn't think I was going to need to. Uh, let's give me two seconds to check if I have anything else I can do. Um, oh, I could be bold. What well, am being bold? I'm going to cast Compel Duel on okay. my bonus Ooh, action. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, cool. He needs to make a wisdom save. Wisdom um, save. Okay. What does compelled duel actually do? It means that they have to fight. Wisdom save thirteen. Hmm. That's a success. Nothing. Oh, the seventeen. Yeah, not hands. Sorry. Uh, I I just try and like goad him to fight me. Something about like stand and fight, foul beast. As he's like hanging off my arm. I think he's like got his teeth sunk into your shoulder <laughs> at this point, and looks up at you with a it's mild like, bit I of am. amusement. <laughs> it's like a magically charged. Fight me, foul beast. Cool. Anything else? No. no. <laughs> uh, is our show's go? Fucking <laughs> get him our show! Get him off me! <laughs> um, our show is going to panic slightly and, and go for some punching. Fucking <laughs> get him! So he gets two strikes. Yep, with advantage. With um, flanking. The first one's gonna. Uh, oh, uh, does a restrained creature still. Yeah, you can still attack, so you can I still can. give flanking, yes. The first one's gonna hit. And the second one's gonna hurt. There was an at one in there somewhere though. Ah. Good man, our show. Good man. Um. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry, it blows. Do, 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 do. Uh, four, four, uh, Twelve points of damage. Cool. Hmm. Twelve points of damage. This is poorly worded. Uh, uh, they're dead, so that's fine. And it is now his go. His go? Yes. Uh, Crocodile Man. Yes, it is his go. He's currently got his teeth around my arm. He does. What's curly worded? Um, 
But hopefully nothing that we need to worry about until cool. we'll you again. <laughs> but he can always keep on reading. You. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to attack you with his scimitars. So he's going to like... Um, <laughs> yeah, he essentially has you restrained in his mouth, and then he's gonna start hacking at you. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, this ain't. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, actually, would that be more fun? No. Oh no! You're a very <laughs> wonderful bunch dog. Oh oh yeah. oh oh. You make it his own guy. I like that. Can do that? Mm. No, he can't really do that. No, okay. Yeah, he's just gonna hack into you. That makes sense. What was going to happen? I don't know. I don't know what this guy is. Okay, cool. So he's got advantage to hit you. Uh, first one is a 20 something. Yeah. And the second, uh, I'll roll damage, sorry, first so that you can take reactions and shit if you need to. Uh, I don't think I have any reactions here. Okay. Uh, mm, okay. Okay. okay, so you, you take oh, five points of slashing damage and ten points of poison damage. Oh, actually. Uh, actually? Yeah, I've absorbed elements, so I could negate some of the poison oh, damage. Do you want to? This was just his first attack? Yes. Five points of poison damage? Ten points of poison damage. I can negate five of that. I'll let this one stand. I'll see if he does more in the next one. Okay. Wait, <laughs> are you going to negate half? Uh, absorb elements gives you like resistance to the triggering damage type. Oh, but then if you've got resistance, is it just for instantaneous? Instantaneous. I think it's only for a round, isn't it? But if it's for a round, so, until the start of your next turn. Oh, oh, what could you use anyway? Yes, yes, yes I will spend it now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that was five points of piercing damage, and then ten points of poison reduced to five. Got me that. So second ten. attack is going to hit. Yep. Uh, on a dirty twenty. Um, yeah, that will do it. <laughs> Okay, so 10 damage from that attack. Yeah. And I have resistance to poison damage now. Sweet. Thank you so um, much. <laughs> so that's 6 points of slashing damage? I think it's slashing damage, sorry. Scimitars? Yeah. Yeah, slashing damage and then 7 points of piercing damage that would be reduced to 3. Cool. 7 poison reduced to 3. Thank you. Sorry, what did I say? Piercing. Piercing. 6 and 3. 9 damage. I am being unhelpful. I am sorry. <laughs> so good. Okay. Okay. Um... Trying frantically to parry, but like, not used to this long sword. The weight's a bit <laughs> off. It's a really nice sword, but... The little bandit in the corner now? Uh, I'm just seeing if he wants to take his bonus action. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, um, where are we? We are here. Kai, it's your turn. Oh, mm. you want to take a break? Um, We're at the top of the round? Yeah, I suppose we've been playing for three hours. Mm. This is the long ass combat, but we're kicking ass. Yeah, we are kicking ass. There's more um, than kept appearing. The real question is do you want us to, to have time to strategize? I don't mind if you strategize. Um, so if it speeds up combat, I'm all for that. Uh, so yeah, we'll wow. take a 15 minute break okay. just now, uh, so we'll see you then. <laughs> Bye! See you soon! Bye!